and we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time friend. for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie just do us the catch you don't come to. Your squad get run through. By the time you come to, you duck food. You suckers talk tough on the internet. Revealing all your threats. Now we got you trapped in the net. Just do be on this grind. Y'all better hustle up. You dead lifted 90 pounds. We doing muscle ups. There's really no comparison. His voice sound like a derringer. Throwing a towel that's just embarrassing. My dog just very philosophical and psychological. And he mixed it all with good boxing news. These YouTubers feel like Bishop, I guess they got the juice. But it's lonely at the top to just to feel like child abuse. Be respectful, he don't want to talk wild and loose. If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute. These weird cats would tell lies, then they didn't hide the truth. Why beyond views, you lose your life when you collide with dude. It's just do boxing. Are you cowards quit jockin'? Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yeah. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing. Yeah. And of course, shout out to Mrs. Doom. Holding the whole family down. Word them up, word them up. That's my stuff, yes. yes. If I bought it, say, don't touch. Don't touch. If you're in that mess, that's fine. Could you walk and talk at the same time? And Life it is and my name that is on that mess. So remove your bed so I can call you a pet. I'm standing in the yard. See, and he's telling me how I'm such a fool. He's talking me out. I will never, ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, yo, they, yo, they, yo, yo, the one chick, she thought she was killing it. Yo, she was pointing her finger at everything. <laughs> man, man, much love, much appreciation to everybody that pulls up, that continues to support this grind, man. It's just do boxing grind. I really got much love, much love and appreciation for everybody that continues to pull up and rock with your boy. Man, good Thursday to everybody, man. We back again. You know what I mean? To talk some good boxing, to build. You know what I mean? And just have a good conversation, man. Hope everybody is, is, is you know what I'm saying, having a good good Thursday, a good day. A good, I hope y'all been having a good week. You know what I'm saying? So let me say what's up to the fam late before we get into it. Zoom, what's good with it, my brody? Zoom, peace and blessings to you, brody. Appreciate you, man. It's always fan. All right, know what I'm saying? Talking about, yeah, we're going we gonna to get into that. And I got sent that a couple times. Whenever somebody send me something a couple times, I talk about it. So it, anytime y'all see something that, that y'all feel like it needs, it's just do on it, I'm on it, bro. Just send it to me and we're going to talk about it. I got this sent a couple times, maybe two or three times. So 
No, I mean, um, I said, man, we could talk about it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? It's just a conversation and salute to Brian Norman, senior and junior. I know I had Brian Norman on and I love the kid's energy. I like where he's going. You know, I rock with him. I support him. But this, nonetheless, this is just a conversation, you know, as as always. But much love and appreciation to everybody that pulls up, man. Salute to y'all. Son of God, what's good, family? Five-star boxing talk over here. Man, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Really do, man. Appreciate that. Five-star boxing talk. That's what I like. Mike Biggs boxing, my bro, man. What's good with it, bro? So just do the voice, man. Yes, sir, man. I'm on the job, man. I'm on the job, y'all. I'm staying true to the name, and we grinding and we building. God self, what's good with the family? How you feeling, bro? 817, my guy. What's happening with it? 817. Driving and listening. Safe travels, bro. Safe travels. I mean, Andrew Gray, what's good with it, family? How you feeling? Let's chop it up. Absolutely. God self says smash that like on the way in. Ashley's corner. Salute. What's good, cuzzo? Said it's tradition. Talk to him, Ash. We're going to cook up. We're going to have us a good build, good boxing conversation, man. Salute to everybody, man. Much love. Cash, what's good with it, my, my bro? How you feeling, bro? <laughs> that's a real group yeah, that's a real group Edgar Chavez what's good with it Brody Jersey in the building Ghost was good with it man appreciate you man I know Lady Do will be popping in soon Undercar Boxing what's good with it family how you feeling appreciate you as always my bro how y'all feeling man hopefully I hope y'all been enjoying y'all been having a good week Hopefully, y'all been having a good uh, Thursday as well. And y'all ready to talk some good boxing with your boy, man. Salute to the fan. But we're going, we, you know, we got a couple things to chop it up about. Like I said, it's fight week. You know what I mean? And he said they know it was un unpopular, right? <laughs> ah, man. See, they suck their heart out of popular opinion. They suck their, oh, you talking about uh, with this joint right here. That they talking about, yeah, yeah. Ash, I, my bad. I thought you were talking about them for a second. You talking about with the with Brian Norman uh, Senior and them said we gonna talk about it and again. It's always a conversation. Everybody has their opinion. I just thought that was interesting when y'all seen it to, sent it to me. I never seen it first. I was like, damn, I, I, that's interesting. Just similar to when Jahan Ingram said Tank couldn't box, but then you know he came up here and he he was very like articulate as to where he. The way he explained it, what he meant. You okay? You all right? Okay, be careful. All right. But, you know, nonetheless, it's very in interesting. And it's always content, you know what I'm saying? Especially when, when the voice is on the job. Y'all know we just do breakdowns. And, you know what I mean? We do bills. You know what I mean? It's never personals. We do bills. Mm-hmm. Suit to my bro Mike Biggs boxing. But you're right, Ash. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Much respect. Spending too much time with Bob. <laughs> Salute to everybody in the building, man. Y'all smash that like button. You driving too, man. Hey, Mike Big, safe travels, bro. Salute to you and 817. Safe travels on that road, Brody's. Brody's, safe travels, man. Tank has a different, different styles, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's interesting. So, we're going to play that. We got that going on. Um, we got a statement issued from UCAD about Connor Ben being suspended. You know what I mean? And possibly facing a ban he claims he claims that it's not news they're just using his his name for headlines and things like that and i i i just don't know if i could if i could level with that i mean like you got to think like what what benefit do they have to smear your name as a fighter bro what benefit do they have they don't have any benefit to be smearing your name you dig what i'm saying like so we got that going on. Got this article I'm going to pull up too as well from um David Morrell. <clears throat> David Morrell sound like he ready for David Benavidez. He said he won Benavidez next. Like, no excuses. I'm telling you, man, this, this young kid, David Morrell, is coming for everything. Everything they say he ain't ready for, he coming for it. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Salute to you, Edgar Chavez, man. Salute to you. Fizzle was good with it, bro. Appreciate you pulling up. Salute to you. Tank by seven and nine round KO. I could dig that. I could see it too with the patience of Tank and just, you know what I mean? Especially with his intent on wanting to take him in the deep waters and drown him. Then who has style to be Ryan? Yeah, who style can be Ryan. That's what I'm like. But that was, that's, we gonna play that. Oh, you driving too? Hey, man, Brody. 
happy 420 to the people that celebrate it, man, and, and safe travels on the road as well. Agri safe travels. God self, what's happening with it, family? Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, bros, man. We're gonna have us a good and in the in the queens in the chat. We're gonna have us a good build. You want to have us a good deal for sure. Yeah, but we got a few things to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Connor been putting up resistance. Um, Calvin Ford said, uh, you know, that they actually working on this winter, this winter takes all type of situation, right? So that's crazy too, man. So we we gonna talk about it, man. We're gonna pull up this um this clip from uh Brian Norman Sr. and Jr. when they went on a I believe they were on the boxing voice when they did this. It's good. And then, you know, also Ted Fimo is running his mouth. He claims and salute the Mill City Boxing because he, he did it. I think he believed he did the interview with Ted Fimo. But Ted Fimo is giving Ryan, I guess, tips, if you will, on how to beat Tank. He said um, he knows how to beat him. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that as well. We're going to play that little clip as well, man. So we got a few things to discuss, man. We got a few things to discuss to discuss and we zone the job yeah let me get to it though let me pull this up let me, let, me, let, me, let me pull it up let me let me pull it up salute to everybody in the building man appreciate y'all y'all punch that like button if we rather see the hater come out the woodwork <laughs> right Okay, man, it's, um, you know, I don't know how they is with their stuff, so I don't want to screen share their stuff, and they hit me with a copyright, so we're going to play the audio. This is, um, Brian Norman, uh, junior, and senior and junior, y'all, on the Boxing Voice, and they're giving their thoughts on the Tank Davis and, uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, fighting how it's going to play out, man. So y'all bear with me. We're going to play this. We're going to get to it, man. We're going to have us a good cook how we always do. Hopefully, I hope everybody's feeling well in the building. Like I said, I don't just say that to be nice. I actually say it because it matters. Hope everybody doing well, man. I appreciate all y'all time. So we're going to get to it. Tia, why you ain't show us? Man, talk to him under car. We're going to get to all this, man. We just going to have us a good build conversation how we always do jim my brody what's happening with it jim how you feeling bro salute to you appreciate you stopping through as always thrill hill how you feeling fan salute to you brody but we gonna play this y'all this is brian norman and senior on the boxing voice again shout out to the boxing voice for the good work all right boxingvoice.com here with brian norman senior and junior wanted to get your breakdown big fight in about eight Days it's uh Javante Tank Davis taking on Ryan Garcia catch weight 136. But uh yeah, man, it, they, they're calling it the, the fight to save boxing. That's what Oscar's saying. But what's your guys' thoughts? See, let me just stop real quick right there. Look, man, this is not a, a shot at Tank or Ryan or the fight as a whole. Boxing don't need to be saved. See, it's the stupid stuff people say. The fight is already big. Just say the right stuff about it. Like, you don't got to make put no extra spin on it. Like, you get what I'm saying? This this fight don't have to save boxing, bro. Boxing don't need to be saved. It just need to continue to put on the best fights possible. That's all. You know what I mean? Maybe this cross-promotional fight uh, make people shut up about size of the streets. You get what I'm saying? Say things like that. But all this is save boxing. Shut up, man. Boxing ain't need to be saved. Bozo. You know what I'm saying? We just need the right fights. That's all. You know what I'm saying? We just need the right fights. You know, Tank, you know, both being ATL, right? <laughs> both being ATL with it, huh? Salute to my bro, man. Undercard Boxing, man. In that cash app early, man. Much love and appreciation to my bro, Undercard, man. Let me get my bro his And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Salute to you, Brody. Much love and appreciation, Undercar. Supporting this hair grind, man. I truly appreciate all y'all that continue to support this grind, man. Trust me. Y'all all appreciate it. Salute to my baby girl. There she is, Miss Just Do. Peace and much love to you. Your handsome time. <laughs> so, man, cook up something good, King. Peace and love to you all in the chat. Yes, man. Much love. 
to my baby girl, Miss Justice. How you feeling, baby girl? Don't work too hard over there either. And salute to my Brody uh, undercard, man. Much love. Salute to you, Cash. Let's play this, though. But right, 817, you right. You right, but we're going to go ahead and get to it. The, the, the fight to save boxing. That's what Oscar's saying. But what's your guys' thoughts? Who wins and how? Uh, Who wins? Uh, who wins and how? I think Ryan will win. <laughs> I think by unpopular uh, uh, belief that Ryan will win. I think that excuse me, I think that Tank is a little nervous. I, of course, all fighters are a little nervous, but I think Tank is a little nervous. I think that Ryan is flat-footed. Ryan does keep his chin in the air. But if you look, uh, Ryan, um, with the shot he got hit with Liam Walsh, uh, Liam, Liam Walsh. Walsh. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like Walsh. Yeah. Liam Walsh actually That's for uh, Tank, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, Luke Campbell. What is it? One twenty six. Yeah, I can't. All right. So the guy when he fought uh, Luke Campbell, mm -hmm. so how Luke Campbell dropped him. But you gotta look at how he got up and, and how he delivered once he got no, up. No, you gotta you know look at. Ali no, down. you gotta look at the fact that Luke Campbell ain't no damn puncher. That's what you gotta look at. That's what you gotta look at first. You gotta look at the fact that Luke Campbell was not a puncher, and that Brian Garcia was remotely anything close to the fighter that people, some people, try to sell him to be. Then he went and been getting dropped by that guy. You get what I'm saying? And I don't know where you get nervous at from Tank, bro. Ain't nothing nervous about nothing he did. That's just like, I, I don't see it personally. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have no issue with what his perspective is. We just going to talk about it and break it down how we always do. I don't see no nervous energy from Tank's side. And I think if there's any nerves, to be fair, it will be the regular nerves that come with any fight, right? But it's nothing beyond that. You get what I'm saying? I'm not even going to say that I see Ryan looking nervous, right? He eating it up, depressing, talking, and you get, get what I'm saying, smiling, and he's very uh, vocal and, and outspoken for this uh, press conference. So I don't really see nervous energy on his behalf. You get what I'm saying? Not that I could think of right off the bat. So I don't, I don't see it. You know what I mean? Maybe, you know, we all see different things. That's why I play this. So, you know, it's all good. No slight to him, but I don't see nothing that Tank was is doing that would be anything close to being nervous to me, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I'm with you. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see the nerves. They said they both wild for this. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I don't get this one, Ash. I don't get it. And they picking him that went well. So far, this is his father speaking, but we're gonna play the rest. Uh, Tyson been down, not a good example. Ali been down, <laughs> Lennox Lewis been down. Man, been see, down. no disrespect, I mean, you know, man. No, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm pausing it. All of those names, you name it, Hall of Fame fighters. Ali, Klitschko, you said Fury, like, bro, bro, bro. All I'm saying, I'm not, your, your, your point is not wrong, but I'm just saying they're not of that elk. There's nothing wrong with what you're saying, but there, he's nowhere near any of that. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I just don't think he's cut from that type of cloth either. You get what I'm saying? Respectfully, I just... I don't see that for Ryan Garcia, bro. I don't see him being of that. You get what I'm saying? I don't think those fighters, when I see him, just because he got knocked down, you get what I'm saying? And respectfully for me, a ton of guys have got knocked down and got back up, right? That don't make them anywhere near, like, you can compare them. They're nowhere near those type of fighters, bro. Nowhere near it. Like, it's not even close. Nowhere near it. You feel me? You say, bet you some person you feeling that confident, right? You know that ain't happening. And you feel me, Ash, man. Grease with fire. What's good with it? <laughs> I feel you, man. Grease with fire. Salute, family. Appreciate you stopping to for a bathroom. Woman's got a soul. Bet money on Ryan to win this fight. Yeah, they crazy. You got you. It's like you got to, right? Got to when they saying this stuff, right? And I'm just, again, it's all love because I rock with Norman and his pops. But this is just a conversation. And again, I want to like kind of point out and show people you you attack the argument, not the individual. When you attack the individual, you make it per personal. You get what I'm saying? And it ain't really me attacking the argument. It's just me breaking down what I what I hear when I hear him saying this and giving y'all my perspective. So if anything, that's how you go about it. You attack the argument, not the individual. You know what I'm saying? When you go at the individual, it makes things personal. You know what I mean? Ali listen, been down. Uh, I, Tyson been down. Ali. Ali been down. Lennox Lewis been down. Lennox Lewis. Klitschko been down. Klitschko. I mean, you know, all you of them. All the greats been down. Them you know, legend, I mean, legends, I mean, Hall of Famers. All of them been down. 
it's about the way you get up. Hall of Fame. I mean, getting getting knocked down, getting dropped, that happens. And they all the been put down by much greater fighters, he does heavyweights too. In the air, but I think the style that Tank fights, me being a shorter person, but when I fall, you have to fight a certain style of kind of a come forward jab your way in. Tank doesn't jab a lot. Tank doesn't jab his way in. Tank is not that kind of fighter. Tank is you. Tank is normally fighting fighters that's coming to get him. Mm-hmm. That's what he's normally fighting, and then Tank catches them. No, he's slipping, not. That's not you know, true. Like in all of his big fights, you can think of, you know, when he was getting that work or whatever you want to call him. It's been a real this. They, you know, they, they was working him. They was working him. He caught him slipping. Boom. You get what I'm saying? Nah. Ryan is on the hunt, but Ryan is That's on the cautious hunt. You know what I mean? He's not. He's not reckless to me. He's flat for the chin and the head. What? Oh, All due respect, Chant, man. He ain't reckless. Tank don't jab his way in. People be working him, and he just catch him. It's, most of the people he fight are coming to get him. I, I don't know. I can't agree with that. I don't know, man. Because Tank comes to get you. What did he do to Barrios? He didn't catch Barrios slipping. He broke Barrios down. And I know that's one of the fights where people talk about he was getting out of box. Well, I'm here to say that's not a fight where Barrios came to get him. He went and got Barrios. What did what did, what did Floyd tell that man in the corner? Show me that you great. And what did Tango show him? That he great. I mean, I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one right there. Mm, man. I don't know. Kello, my brody. What's good with it? Kello, how you feeling, bro? Appreciate you pulling up, man. Press conference the undercard. Oh man, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you coming to rock out with your boy, man. Much love and appreciation to my brother Kello. Man, salute to everybody. Roja was good with him getting pieced up in his last fight and gassed up. You know, you know, one of the Hall of Famers were put down by someone that couldn't punch. <laughs> none of, oh yeah, none of the Hall of Famers, right? Put down by somebody that couldn't punch. And that's all we saying. Luke Campbell is just not a puncher. And I respect the hell out of him for getting up, not curring out. He didn't tuck his tail. But Luke Campbell let him right off the hook, let him re- allowed him to recover. And then it just was all bad for him after that. Tank jabs his way in versus Barrios. Get what I'm saying? I, I just want to know how do he be cutting the distance if he don't jab his way in. Now, I mean, he ain't jab heavy. That's the thing. He ain't jab heavy. But he definitely jabs his way in. He's a very intelligent fighter, man. D, man, what's good with it, my brody? What's happening with it, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. Mr. Kyler, what's going on, family? How you feeling? This is why son needs a new trainer. <laughs> Feel that part again? I got you. I got you, guys. I got you. Definitely, I got you. I got you, man. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Much love and appreciation, everybody. We're going to keep burning it up in here. I'm going to be saying this. He'll get some fans. He'll do, you know, he just made an ass out of himself. He actually lost some fans. He could have had what an idea. Yeah, you got to make it make sense, bro. Got to. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, you got to make it make sense. Uh, and that's all. And respect to them and their opinion and their perspective. But I know, I know for a fact, undeniably, I see something different. I'm going to run it back a little bit so we can hear this. And again, this is how we do it, man. We break this down and then we don't do personals. We just break it down, bro. We just break it down. Use the first couple of rounds to disarm his opponent, taking away their jab. Boom. Once Ryan's jab is gone, so is he. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Wait, we up with a Norman fights a contender. Yeah, let's see what's next one. And I, and I rock with Norman, but this is his dad too. Let's be clear. I want to be clear. I want to like, Say it's the young man, the young champ ain't saying nothing. That's his dad. That's his dad talking right now. Now I mean, salute to everybody. Tanks boxing that that, and then, you know what, Kello? The fact that they're gonna continue to underrate it is gonna put the fighters that's fighting him in the dis in the point where they, at a disadvantage. The fact that they don't acknowledge how good of a fighter he, a good of a boxer he actually is, they're gonna be in trouble, man. Appreciate you guys, so yes, sir, man. Y'all like, share, and sub up to your Brody, bro, man. You did. He was on point in the Barrios fight, right? He took some shots right back, uh, uh, right, Rosia, because it's a fight and because Barrios can fight. They keep making big deals out of the cup. The shots that he took are some rounds, a couple rounds that Barrios got. Like, come on, man, it's a fight, bro. It's a fight. Tank ain't perfect. And again, he don't box to win rounds, he boxed to beat your ass, man. I'm gonna keep saying it. 
and it's fight week, so we're talking this all week. And when Devin Haney turn coming, I'm going to have the same energy for Dad. We're going to be pumping his fight all week when it comes. When it's Dad fight week, we rocking with him all week, man. All week. You know, what's the style to beat Ryan? <laughs> it beat Ryan, right. They said the tank is reckless. Yeah, he said tank is reckless. And Ryan, he said Ryan is not reckless. That's crazy. Right? Right, Ghost? I, I just, that threw me off. Tank is a complete fighter. Me to shortchange him as a KO artist. All facts, bro. All facts. All facts. He's there's so much more. And again, they, the ones that continue to keep focusing on his power, thinking he's just this KO artist or this mindless brute that just comes forward. People don't know if they want to say he's just this like mindless brute that just comes forward and punches hard or or he's just a guy that you got to go get. They don't know which one they be wanting to say. You get what I'm saying? Both ain't true, man. You know what I'm saying? Not the way people spinning it. Strong some James Tony shit in that Barrios fight. Yo, bro, did you see the attention to detail in there, Rosa? They only seen focusing on the shots he got hit with. Look at the shots that he slipped and didn't get hit with. Man, I'm telling you, that dude is talented. They're going to keep slipping. Keep sleeping. I'm telling you, go six foot, six foot one is wild, bro, for five foot five and a half dude, man. I'm telling you, me neither. Me, me either, Cash. Me either, yo. Me either, Tank. Just kick Norman out of the gym. <laughs> Camp or something. <laughs> yeah, but my bad, job. We're going to play this, man. We're going to play the rest of this. I rewinded it just a bit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, getting, getting knocked down, getting dropped, that happens. It's about the way you get up and about the way you finish it. it I is think tough. he is flat-footed. He does keep his chin in, in, in the air. But I think the really. style that Tank fights, me being a shorter person, but when I fall, you have to fight a certain style of kind of a come forward, jab your way in. Tank doesn't jab a lot. Tank doesn't jab his way in. Tank is not that kind of fighter. Tank is you. Tank is normally fighting fighters that's coming to get him. Mm -hmm. That's what he's mm -hmm. normally fighting. And then Tank catches them slipping. You know, it's no, good. like in all true. the big fights you can think of. No. You know, when he was getting that work or whatever you want to call it. No, I really, they, they, you know, they, they were working him. They were working no, him. he called him slipping. That's oh, not true. You know what I'm saying? Ryan is on the hunt, but Ryan is on. He caught Roley slipping. He caught Roley slipping. I mean, he caught Santa Cruz was stationary pretty much when he got caught. He, I mean, if, to a degree, you could say he caught him slipping. But Barrios, he really went and got and broke down. He really did, yo. He broke Barrios down. The Pedraza fight, he, 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 he was bossed up in that fight. Like, I'm trying to figure out. Like, I'm trying to figure out. Hector Garcia, he went and got him. He went and got Hector Garcia. Uh, that's what I seen. Yo, y'all tell me if I'm tripping. I he, he went and got Hector. You know what I mean, different and people see different things, and it's all good. I love I love these type of conversations or these type of you know topics where you could you know openly discuss whatever. You know what I mean? What you seen? I just seen it different. You know what I mean? I just seen it different, bro. Gonna prove himself. Why not? Right, right. The reason to shut everyone up. <laughs> Thanks for to give. Thanks for giving that tank a reason to shut everybody up. I'm telling you facts, bro. The job is distraction for the left hook. That's why he's so back foot heavy because he brings that right hand back too slow. That's a good point, Dirk. That's a big, uh, good point, Mr. Kyle. People say tank is short as he built his career on stopping bigger dudes. Facts, bro. Tank is 5'4". Only had a reach advantage like once in his career. That's true, too. And a height advantage like once in his career. Tank can take other people's jab away. That's what he do, bro. He's got better jab than Ryan. Right. I don't get it. I don't get it, Ash. I don't get it either. Broke Pedraza down. Facts, he did. He broke Barrios down. Went and got Barrios. Took the fight out of Hector. You get what I'm saying? Caught Roly slipping. Punched Santa Cruz to sleep. Like, I don't know, man. It's different, yo. He different. Right, right, exactly, exactly. They will, they will want all the credit in the world. That's all I'm just saying. Just give him his on the other side. It ain't just him. It's any fighter. You get what I'm saying? But it seems like when it come to him, people assessments of him be so surprising the hell out of me, man. They really do. Tougher than barriers? Absolutely not, bro. I um, Mickey Bay. Mickey Bay said he got Ryan Garcia. He would have had Ryan Garcia smoking Hector Garcia. I don't think so. I really don't. I'm mean, cleaning the drop barriers and a little tank stopped. And that's what I'm saying. Rosie different. That's different, man. 
I come forward and catch him on a little something that's rolling and leave Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz wasn't all back for right, right. Tank was on the front for multiple times, right? Especially when he came to get him. Leo Santa Cruz's back was pretty much against the ropes. Get what I'm saying? A1 Hope Zone, what's good with it, bro? Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? The one five four little dude be driving from the outside and pox on the outside with dudes who are five plus inches tall and have much longer arms. That's what I'm saying. They it's like they want them to do this stuff. Like you, it's like they want them to do the stuff that a taller fighter, a taller, longer fighter would be doing, and they don't consider the fact that the size and frame. They say it, but it's like they don't consider it. They don't factor it in. He's not gonna fight you, you t the, the way you typically expect a guy to fight that's taller and longer. He's just not going to do that. He's not going to sit back there and play the outside game or jab, jab, jab. That's just not what, that's not how he fight. Frustrated schools, Ronnie Bugger. Yeah, Mickey Bay. Mickey Bay said that. You're going to become the face of boxing if you beat Tank. But don't admit that he has any skills. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Man, as it don't. It don't, though. It really don't work that way. <laughs> Facts, it don't. It really don't. Can't have it both of the ways. Like, both things can be. You know what I mean? Both things can be. Y'all punch that like about one time, man. We're going to keep we gonna keep cooking on this. And again, it's all love. It's just about the conversation. Salute to be Norman um, Senior. We're going to keep we're going to keep breaking this down, y'all. And Luke Campbell, it is 126. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. All right, so the guy when he fought uh, Luke Campbell, mm -hmm. so how Luke Campbell dropped him, but you gotta look at how he got up and, and how he delivered once he, he got up. up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ali been down, uh, Tyson been down, not a good example. Ali been down, <laughs> Lennox Lewis been down, Klitschko been down. I mean, you know, but all of them been down. All the greats been down. You mm -hmm. know, Ali been. I mean, you know, all of them been real down. Real quick, just to stop it, real quick. It's about the way you get up. Key word. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he said all the greats. No slight, no disrespect to none. He's saying it's just key words. He said all the greats. <laughs> Go say hey, Mickey said, I see why he lost it, George. Now <laughs> yeah, nah, I don't know. They had watched a couple fights. You could tell they don't be watching much of the guys that they be making assessments on because they barely be knowing. The fight that they they barely be remembering the name of the fighter that got them feeling confident for that guy. You get what I'm saying? They be struggling to remember. You see, he ain't even barely remember who he fought because he ain't fighting nobody that's crazy like that. That's all. Yeah, Floyd ain't been down. Nope. Besides that, taking the knee for the with the broken hand cash. That's about it. Tank touch Ryan's chin. Ryan not not that tall. He has a long neck. That's why he can tuck his chin. I really gotta look at Ryan Facts though. You make it make great point though, bro. Right. Man, fans a homeboy. All facts. A17. You can tell it comes out sometimes. You get what I'm saying? It come out in the weirdest way. Especially even comparing Ryan to any of those names. God self. That's all I'm saying. It just it's a bit off. Like you give I get his point that he's making, but it throws me off because those are all like legendary great type fighters. You get what I'm saying? So it, it makes it a bit crazy. He's getting getting knocked down, getting dropped. That it happens. It's about the way you get up and about the way you finish it. I think he right. is flat footed. He does keep his chin in, in, in the air, but I think the style that Tank fights, me being a shorter person, but when I fall, you have to fight a certain style of kind of a come forward with jab your way in. Tank doesn't jab a lot. Tank doesn't jab his way in. Tank is not that kind of fighter. Tank is, you, Tank is normally fighting fighters that's coming to get him. Mm -hmm. That's what he's normally fighting. No. And then Tank catches them slipping. Not you know, all the time, like, yeah, All these big fights you not can all think the of. Time. No. You know, but he was getting that work or whatever no. you want to call him. Been, uh, Absolutely that, not. That, you know, that, they're working he him. Caught he like caught that. Him slipping. Boom. You get what I'm saying? He caught Roley Ryan like that. Ryan is on the hunt, but Ryan is on a cautious hunt. You know what I mean? He's not He's not reckless to me. He's flat for the chin and the air, but he's long. Flat. But how are you flat footed, chin in the air, and that's not reckless? How is fighting with your chin in the air not reckless? You get what I'm saying? How is fighting with your chin in the air not reckless? That's very reckless. And it could get you knocked, spark clean out. You get what I'm saying? I, I, those two things I, I don't get. I think 
you fighting with your chin in the air, essentially serving your your your, your chin up on a, a platter almost. You know what I mean? You got your chin served up on a platter when it's in the air. And that's how you get cracked. You know what I'm saying? The Eagles be big, them young is in the same streets, right? You know, I'm probably ain't happy about how much money Tink making in the city. They are okay. See, A17 always got a dope, dope vibe, dope perspective, man. Something different, man. Salute to you, bro. Uh, you make a good point, bro. Right? Gotta sell facts. You can do it all. Feel me? Like, I just don't see it. You know what I mean? Like, he's a lot better in these fights than people make it seem like. And the only one he truly caught like that was Roly. Leo Santa Cruz, who wasn't chasing him, his back was against the girl. You know, Tank was the aggressor, obviously, because he made up his mind that he went to go get him. That's what I'm saying. You're saying people usually going to get him. If you just think about it in his biggest fights, just name him. No, I'm naming him. Nah. Roly is the, the that's the guy that he caught slipping like that. Santa Cruz, he he we forced him to sleep, you know what I mean? Bedtime story, no nap. I mean, no, no, no blanket, no, no pillow, no nothing. Just sleep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get what I'm saying? No tuck in, ain't tuck Leo in and no, he just slept, slept him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Pedraza, he broke down, beat up Barrios. He broke down and beat up, was on the front foot coming towards Barrios. He was coming to get him. Imagine a five foot, five and a half foot guy coming to get a six foot dude. He coming to get him. Man, that was one of his most impressive wins of his career. I love that fight. I love watching that fight. Highlights, whatever. I love that fight, yo. Man, I love that fight. I like the trunks that he had in there, the gloves. Like I'm saying, I like little shit like that. But I, I love the performance even more. You know what I'm saying, man. He came to get him. These dudes don't be chasing him. And then boom, he catch him. You just thinking of what you last seen in your head. That was with Roly. That's what happened. You get what I'm saying? That's not always the case with Tank. Dudes ain't just gung ho being on the front foot to try to walk him down like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now Roly was trying some things. Yeah, because that's the only option he had. Roly would have been. Imagine Roly on the back foot. He get to get slapped in a different way. It would have been even worse. Roly being on the back foot against Tank essentially gives him no chance to win. So he had to be on the front foot. People don't be understanding, man. I'm really starting to think I understand boxing better than these people that claim they know it all, man. I'm telling you, man. They just be saying stuff. Saying stuff. Roly had to come forward against Tank. That was his only chance to win. He's not some counter puncher, not some great counter puncher. He don't set traps. That's his only option was to come forward. And then part of him being comfortable doing that because that's normally how he fight anyway, and he had a size advantage. So that, in part, made him comfortable. But he still had very tense moments, which led to him getting cracked. I don't know what people be saying, man. I swear I don't. I swear I don't. That man had zero other option. There's no in-between for Roly Romero. He comes for us all he do. He don't never fight on the back foot because he can't. Not at a high level. Not at what any effective, like not being effective doing it. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's a little different, man. Gonna hit him with a hook that's all his chain gonna fall like a sack of pennies. <laughs> gonna be nervous, missing, missing punches. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Tank versus Barrios is hella entertaining. I had to watch that entire fight four times already. I'm telling you, I love that fight, bro. I love, I love that fight, cuz oh, I love it. I love it. Shot his load on dude, right? He got some he got some things to work on. Yeah, or you know what? And I try not to call it that ass. So I just be saying people be having very interesting uh assessments, and I feel like they be a little bit off or a lot of bit off, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully. Like I watched I watch all these dude fights. Dudes don't just be coming to get him and he just get all of a sudden land some shot. That was roly. I'm telling you, that's a one off. I can't, matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I can't think of another fight where that was the case. I can't. Can y'all? I only see, I only think of Roley. Thank faints. Damn, he jumped on me. Like Brian, I've been seeing him struggle at lower levels. All facts. All facts are 817. All facts. This is real fact. Tank faints alone put Ryan in dangerous territory. All facts again, bro. Dude. Is he be smarter than that? He hating. That's why I be saying I be trying to give him that, you know, that benefit of the doubt, Ash. I swear I do. Ryan needs to come out swinging left hooks. That's his best chance. <laughs> yeah, I watched the Pedraza fight a bunch of times. Right, I love that fight too. A B to I T. What's good with it, A B? Appreciate you pulling up. What's good with it, bro? 
James, what's happening with it, James? Appreciate you stopping through. Well, yeah, we got a little more of this. My bad, y'all. It's crazy how I could turn this five minute, five, six minute clip into an hour. Yeah, it's crazy. 40 minutes or something. Reckless to me. He's flat for the We're gonna run it back a then little bit just so I can hear someone. Mm -hmm. That's what he's normally fighting. Right. And then tank then tank fights. Me being a shorter person, but when I fall, you have to fight a certain style of kind of a come forward jab your way in. Tank doesn't jab a lot. Tank doesn't jab his way in. Tank is not that kind of fighter. Tank is you tank is normally fighting fighters that's coming to get him. Mm -hmm. That's what he's normally fighting. And then tank catches Santa the, Cruz, you Rosa. You know, with some boys. Like in all of his big fights you can think of, you know, when he was getting that work or whatever you want to call him, it's been a real bitch. They were, you know, they, they were working him, they were working him, he called him slipping. Boom. You get what I'm saying? Oh, Rosa, Ryan Rosa, is Rosa, on the hunt, bro. but Ryan is on a cautious hunt. You know what I mean? He's not he's not reckless to me. He's flat for the chin and the air, but he's long. Flat. Imagine saying somebody reckless, and the very next thing is he keep his chin in the air. That those two things don't make sense. A, a, a fighter that's not reckless is not gonna have his chin in the air. That's a reckless. That's a bad habit. A reckless trait to have, man. Like you, you, you don't need that. That's bad. Bad habit, should I say to have in, in boxing? Big Tex, what's good with it? Big Tex, how you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. Y'all punch that like button for me. Ryan is on the hunt, but Ryan is on a cautious hunt. You know what I mean? He's not he's not reckless to me. He's flat for the chin and the air, but he's long. Me neither, A B. I for think he gets caught. And he does occasionally use his jab. I think the style that Tank has is not the style to beat Ryan. Mm. I don't think it's the style to beat Ryan. Really? I do not think it's the style to beat Ryan. You're gonna go down as a genius if you're right, because I know why they his tank. I, and he's I, a I know. Even Bob. <laughs> Bob Arrow <laughs> yesterday said that he gives Ryan zero chances. He, he said knockout. He, he, gives, yeah, he <laughs> said knockout. He said he's not watching it. He gives Ryan zero chance. If this happened, I'm the one that shook up the world. <laughs> <laughs> shook up the world. <laughs> what about you, Chip? Uh, what about me? you? I think it's right, definitely man. a 50-50 fight. Oh, I God. can't really choose nobody for real. Um, the only reason why. What my dad said about Ryan Garcia, I agree with absolutely all of that. Like the way Tank fight or whatever, he also fighting spurts or whatever. Like when he do, like my dad said, he's not a jabber. He more of a jump in. Type. He's got to come forward. Yeah. But when he do come in, he jump forward, left hook. You feel me and stuff like that. So I can't really see it. But at the same time, back to Luke Campbell, whatever he set him up. So then you know Tank love that punch. Like so the same he's time, a very I can't. Smart fight. Yeah, he's a smart fight. Yeah. I can't really pick yeah. nobody. But if I had to put money right, on it, like guaranteed money, I'll go with Tank, Tank. simply because. Tank, when like when life come out, he more chill or whatever. But you see how Garcia, he love to count a little bit too much. He kind of get jittery, if you get what I'm saying. So he might try to do something stupid or something like excited. that or whatever. And you see Roly, when Roly got stupid, what happened on that? Or if I ain't saying Roly and uh, Garcia the same person, but, you know, if he try, try to get too jittery and try to do too much, he might get caught slipping, you know? What about the fact that Roly claims that Ryan hits harder? He sparred Ryan. I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, I think I, I wouldn't be surprised, but I think it's, I think it's by his opinion. I think he just genuinely don't like Tank. Yeah, but, you know, know, I, I just, just think he he don't like Tank. Like tank. He just hates. I gotta get his props on being a, uh, uh, a smart, smart, intelligent ring IQ having some bitch. Mm. Again, when you watch him fight, he knows what the fuck he's doing. You get what I'm saying? Of course he I does. don't think Ryan knows what he's doing. Just like on. Tank knows what he's doing. But I, again, maturity, I have yeah. to go maturity and experience. because of the dynamics of physics. physics. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamic of physics. Now, of course, so you basically, no, and no slight to it, based on you saying the dynamics of physics. So you basically basing this off a guy because he's taller than him? Not 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 the things that really matter. First of all, you said his chin being in the air, he flat foot. That's a double negative for a guy that can move his feet very well like Tank, right? And everybody in here will agree you need your feet to be able to punch so if he's slow there that's an advantage right there tank davis so he flat foot advantage for tank you know what i mean he's, uh, he's don't have good feet right advantage for tank keep his chin in the air that's another bad habit that's an opportunity for tank to crack him you get what i'm saying i i, I just don't then you're basing it off height and we know height don't fight you get what i'm saying he beat up mario barrios who's a more seasoned more tested fighter than than ryan garcia and taller you know what I'm saying? I, I don't get it. Like, and that, you see how that worked out for him. He still ended up getting broke down and stopped. Yeah, that 50 50. I just can't keep calling it that no more. I, I don't think it's that. <laughs> I just can't call it that. Not this one. 
Son of God was good with the family. He said, I think they were for the fire like Ryan with speed and power. I mean, I would think he will be one of the faster or fastest possibly fighters that he fought. But my thing about that is, um, you know, time and Trump speed, right? Son of God. And we know T Tank has some of the best timing in boxing. And then, you know, when it comes to power, you know, speed is power to some degree, right? So Ryan has some of both. And I, I believe it's a fair amount of it. It's a real amount of it, right? But I think, you know, when it comes to power, Tank still got the edge there. And even if Ryan appears to be faster or people think he is faster, I don't think he has better timing or punch placement than Tank. You know what I'm saying? But he do got a good combination of speed and power that could be different than any other fighter that, um, you know, Tank has been in there with. That's what you ask. And that's fair, too. You know what I'm saying? So that's a fair question. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. He don't know which way, dude. Dude, yeah, yeah. He he is, man. It's kind of it just ain't making the most sense. You know what I'm saying? You know, speed and power too. <laughs> Still has his senses with Ryan. Hit him, separated from him <laughs> when Tank hit him right. Facts. Ryan has the power in his left hook. That's about it. Yeah, he got some good power in the left hook. Boxing level Tank, right? You know. No, but that's a fair question, though, bro. That's a fair question. Salute to you, bro. Ryan's fast hands will take a fast and better place feet. De defensively better, too. That's what I'm saying, right? Right? And you need your feet. You need your feet with you to be able to, you know, punch. So let me finish playing this, my bad, child. I ain't mean to keep on stopping. You run it a little bit Martin, more. intelligent. Bring IQ having some bitch mm. again when you watch him fight, he knows what's so fuck how he's doing. all of that. You know how do we have all of that? And you still picking him to lose? Ryan knows what he's doing, Just like wrong. Tank knows what he's doing. So, but how I, do you again, pick a guy to, have to go I don't get Ryan it. because of the dynamics of I don't get it. physics? <laughs> <laughs> the dynamic of physics. Now, of course, yeah, I'm a that. short, I'm a short, I was a shorter fighter when I fought. You have to get inside. You have to jab your way in. It's certain things that you have to do if you're, if that fighter is fighting a certain way. You know, certain fighters can make things difficult. Like you have some people, for example, it's not to bring up nothing. Like with, with, when Boots fought uh, with Whip, the carry guy. Yeah. You, you see how how he did that or whatever the case may be? That was just something that, you know, Boots wasn't thinking what at that time. But it just made it not look right. You get what I'm saying? And Boots is a killer. Everybody know that. Mm -hmm. Everybody would expect that not to last one round because he fighting Carrie. Everybody like, Carrie, who? You get what I'm saying? But the style that that guy came with at that time was something that, you know, Boots wasn't ready for at that time on that day. You know, of course, I'm sure he can. But he wasn't ready for at that time on that day. So that particular moment, of course, he still won, the, you know, uh, wholesomely. And uh, But I, I think that on this one, Ryan has the style to be tank. I really do. What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Wow, I mean, all I can say is wow, salute to him, salute to both Brian Norman Jr. and Senior. That was a very interesting take, and I respect all opinions and takes. I just thought mine was a lot different than what he said. I don't feel like, um, you know, Ryan has some physical things going on with him that can make him dangerous for any fighter that he get in the ring with, right? He does have really good speed, really good hand speed, right? And uh, he got some power behind it, you know, speed is power right like i said before and i, I believe ryan has a a good good hook or some good hooks to the body he does some he do some really good solid body shots but the thing is he throw a lot of single shots right he throw a lot of single shots right and i i, I just don't think you no know, he i don't think he for one i don't feel like he's a one a, no true one punch knockout artist how some people sell him to be right i don't think that's the case and i also think that would favor tank the fact that he don't throw you know combinations to the body like that he throw one punch at a time for the most part you know what i'm saying and and you know tank could catch on the uh patterns you know he catch on the patterns very well and i see him being able to catch on to that in time and hurt him i really see that i see him being able to do it a hundred percent i see tank being able to hurt dude i see him pardon me uh my mean i had the camera off too long and ron deserves his fight right you do i don't know boots the killer i think he is though uh greeks i do 
I just think he ran into an awkward guy that night and he wasn't fully prepared for that that level of movement. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't prepared for a guy, you know what I mean, and that was going to offer such little on the offensive end. You get what I'm saying? He really had almost pretty much nothing to offer. You get what I'm saying? He had pretty much nothing to offer, you know what I'm saying, from a, uh offensive standpoint and – you know, all his energy went into moving and surviving. You get what I'm saying? All of it, pretty much. You get what I'm saying? He didn't arguably win a solitary round. It wasn't no swing rounds, no none of that. You just knew right off the bat after each and every round he lost because he offered so little offensively each round. It just was no way you could pick a round for him. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you know, um, Boots, he needed that. He needed that kind of experience. You get what I'm saying? He needed that. And again, if my bad night or my off night is just me not getting a knockout, right? Me either not getting a knockout or, or, or you know, me just not looking like myself from a you know explosive standpoint and putting it all together, right? But he still won every round. So if that's my off night, give me that. And I want that as an off night any day of the week. If that got to be an off night, you get what I'm saying? If that's my off night, I, I could take that. I could deal with that. I could rock with that. You get what I'm saying? If that's my off night. You got to think most people have an off night and they, uh, they lose. You know what I'm saying? So he had an off night and still found a way to win and, and convincingly just wasn't his normal explosive self you know what i'm saying it's crazy right because even though he didn't beat this dude nowhere beat him down in the way that we probably anticipated and knocked him out you know karen still was saying how boots had power they asked him after the fight he like yeah like you gotta think so with the shots he did hit him where he felt him you know boots got some real power that dude just was he had like that that kind of jittery energy for the whole fight. Like, I ain't trying to get knocked out. Like, he was completely cool with losing, but he just ain't want to get knocked out. And that's what we seen. Take, take, Ryan punch. We will see Ryan can hit. And remember, Ryan said, you ain't for last or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if he stand on the son of God, I respect it. But can Ryan, can Tank take Ryan's punch? I mean, I look at it like this, right? Son of God, um, Emmanuel to go took Ryan's punch. Went up pretty good, you know what I mean? And I think he got dropped like two or three times in that fight, didn't he? On top of that, but he still took it. You get what I'm saying? He survived with no problem. He took him the distance, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, getting dropped. Matter of fact, let me pull it up to see how many times, man. Salute to everybody in the building, man. We're going to keep cooking for a while. Good Thursday to everybody, man. We're going to keep on building, y'all. Keep on building. Let's pull this up real quick. Let me see just how many times he dropped the manual to go. It's crazy. They got more than one Ryan Garcia. That's crazy. 23 and 0. Oh, 19 knockouts. I mean, Ryan be out here smoking, smoking people, bro. All right. Let me get to it. I'm telling you, man. I think Davis punch and power be hitting different for dudes. And here we go right here, Mr. King Rod, Ryan Garcia. And here go this, uh, you know, like I said, his record. We all know he's 23 and 0, 19 knockouts, 5, 10, 70 inch reach. He only 24. Mr. King Rod is an orthodox fighter. You know what I mean? He's boxed 85 rounds. He got an 82.61 KO ratio. Turned pro in 2016. Here we go. Man, here to go. Oh. I say only down in round two. I thought he dropped him more than that. So you see what I'm saying, son of God? See why I feel like that? 
and and, and I, I hate triangle theories for the most part, right? So I'm not really trying to use one in this instance, but what I'm looking at is the level that Emmanuel to go presented in that ring, right? And it's nowhere near the level of a Tank Davis to me. So it's like he went right in there and survived the 12-round unanimous decision loss, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, he still hung in there without getting knocked out. Uh, let me see. Anybody else? This Jason Velez guy is pretty tough, but again, I know this was back in the day, but it's still not back in the day. This was in 2018, but this is still Ryan Garcia, the same punching power. I mean, he fought Jason Velez and went to a UD. I mean, he ain't got a ton of them. Know what I mean, he got this one back then. It was a UD as well. So he got a couple of UDs, but my thing is the people that he had the UDs with just ain't on the Tank Davis level at all to me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, for that reason, I just don't see them dudes. I don't see him being able to knock Tank out. I mean, anything is possible in the sport. Upsets are possible, but I think it's unlikely that he even hit him. And I do think if he do hit him, he can take the shot. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I think he can. But he is definitely a killer. Good having him. Had Boost frustrated. Right, AB did. A little bit of success. Just looked at it as a win during the fight. That's the mistake to fight. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's like a pre-celebration. They be so content in their ass. For like, yeah, I hit him a couple times. Yeah, I got a couple rounds. They cheering for me in there. <laughs> they cheering for me in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They cheering for me. Man, I'm telling you. About to do the same thing around before it's fixed. I seen the um like the the notification, but I didn't get to watch it though. I didn't get to watch it. Mm. Oh yeah, that bro it was the man. How long ago was that? That was his last fight, bro. That was his last fight, son of God. That was his last fight. Josh, what's good with it, man? Fam, you are oh, you cutting the grass? <laughs> Salute to the Brody, Josh, man. What's good with it, bro? Yeah, that was his last fight, son of God. Um, last fight was uh, uh no, what the one before last, should I say? My bad, pardon me, because he fought uh Javier Fortuna last, you know what I'm saying? But that was the one right before that in the same year, you know what I'm saying? 2022, that was in April 2022, April 9th, it was that he fought Emmanuel to go plate as they was calling them. You know what I'm saying? So, I understand you're approaching my brother X and pull up. You already know, bro. And there's no slight to Ryan Garcia. Like, it, you know, in boxing, anything can happen. That's always the element of surprise or, you know, this is the theater of the unknown all the time, right? So, you know, it's always something strange or unknown that could potentially happen. You, you know, you be aware of that, but if I'm just really looking at it, and I add everything up from an experience, skill standpoint, like, you know, who's really tested, seasoned, and, you know, even discipline and who's, who, who's, whose approach is, is a lot more serious and different. His attention to detail is different. It's crazy. It's like you really know he putting in that necessary energy to, to get this fight won. And that's what I think is going to win him over. My bad, child. That was baby do. Baby do, man. Salute the um, son of God, man. Yeah, that was above that one. One for the call for can't be boots. I pick boots right now. I lean towards boots, believe it or not. Dante Hall boxing talk. What's good with the family? Last guy boots fought. How you hold your head high in front of your kids? You ran from a man all night. Yeah, right. He just he was on the escape, wasn't he? He was on the loose. Look like this is weight cut is killing me. Let me go find four pounds. This is kryptonite. <laughs> right, man. Eat tacos and stuff playing around. You know what I'm saying? You had an elephant parachute in the ring, too. <laughs> no, that shit could happen. Right. It could. Y'all give me two seconds, y'all. Real quick. Real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me two seconds. Y'all punch that like button for me.
pardon me, y'all. My baby girl getting sick, man. She ain't feeling good. Sorry about that, y'all. Salute to the family the building. Pardon me, man. Baby girl on me. She ain't feeling good getting sick over here on me. Man. Tell you two years ago, Bruce would beat Lorenzo. Yeah, man, no disrespect to him. He's a hell of a fighter. He always going to be a hell of a fighter to me. Terrence Crawford is. I'm going to always rock with him. Despite who I think can beat him or not beat him, I support boxing, right? I always say that. I'm going to rock with the dude, but I pick Bruce as well to beat him. You know what I'm saying? I would, I, would, I would pick him as well. I would pick him as well. So ain't nobody studying over the rest of my cat's sister, Bernie. <laughs> I just spit bug a boxer. I seen Bernie at the fights, so 817 running around, speeding around like a road runner and stuff, looking like the road runner running around. But we got some other stuff to talk about too, man. So again, salute to B. Norman Sr. and Jr. They had a very interesting take on, on, on Tank and Ryan. I've never heard that before. He said, you know, Tank don't have the style to beat Ryan. That's 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 different. That's different. I would have never thought that. I would have never got that type of assessment from that. I think Tank is a damn animal in there. And I think um, you know, he really hurt that man. And, and he really going to. And it, the countdown is here. It's fight week, like I said, so. It seemed like every day they do give us something else to, to some another reason to bring this fight up. One more reason, you know what I'm saying? But and other news as well, y'all. I don't know if y'all seen this, but we are gonna chop up, chop it up on this as well, man. Chop it up on this as well. There we go, right here. Connor Bogus Ben, Norm Fair. I think the the verdict is in. I don't I don't think they buying it, y'all. I think UCOB is telling him to take that egg story and shove it. And it took him long enough. I mean, they got Michelle Rivera suspended nice and quick, but. They took their time with Buddy. Facts, Dante Hall. I said this before, and I said, um, one of the things that looked like Bud did when he went from when he transitioned from 140 to 147, he traded in some of his mobility for him sitting down on his shots for power. And as a result, right, you've seen him for years on name. You know, since he's been in the uh welterweight division. He don't use his legs as much to win fights. You know what I'm saying? He go get you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he'll move. You know, he'll box and move a bit, but he don't rely on the movement the same way he would. He did at 140, straight up. He just don't. And I think some of that is by design because, you know, it's a heavier weight class and you want to, you know, be able to stand your ground. And you know Bug got that fighter's mentality. You clip him, he want his back. But I always said that. Seemed like he traded in a bit of mobility for, for you know, for power, for sitting down on the shots. And I think as a result, he's been he's been very successful, right? He's been very successful. But I think, you know, the 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 amount of fighters that can actually do something with him that will actually be able to beat him is a very, very short list. It's not a handful of fighters that's going to beat no Bud Crawford at 47, if we're being honest. That's a very short list to me. I can only think of two right off the top. Okay. And maybe a possible a possible or so, but I see two right off the top, I think, that I beat him. Interesting that Bud actually when he said, "Well, Troy, I was crazy." Yeah, nah, he don't get right. He get hit, but he don't get. He don't be in there getting like that. Like I know that that anybody that feel like that just probably don't like the dude. Like and now uh, he he a damn good defensive fighter now. Bud ain't just you ain't just going in there whooping his ass. But again, a certain style, certain styles of fighters will have success on him. 
but not you know what i mean not everybody you get what i'm saying but it ain't gonna just let he ain't no running the mill dude gonna just get in there and do what they want you know what i'm saying but he's had his moments you know what i'm saying he had his moments move if ej in there with him you're gonna have to well, yeah yeah right now nah, he is you're gonna have to use them legs then and very intelligently too because you don't wear it down do not wear it down you don't get tired and he being great shape so i don't see him getting like gas and nothing like that that'd be new to me i never seen terence crawford gas ever it was much defensively speaking he's doing better one for seven he did at 35 and 40 and that's the crazy part and that's actually good that's good you know what i'm saying that's a good thing because he ain't scrapping nobody <laughs> when he did he was niggas laying on him before he dropped him right right Kel messed his eye yo Kel had that eye looking like he had that eye on dips in like two <laughs> in like two rounds had Brody Bro joint on dubs in two rounds. Okay, this is another article, yeah. I wanted to pull up with um David Morrell too, man. I wanted to chop it up about that a little bit. I think age is catching up to him too. Um, yeah, natural, natural, you know, wear and tear, father time, getting older. He got about close to 40 fights. He do got a nice amount of fights under his belt, too. So I think wear and tear is real too, but I think he's still. Still a damn good fighter. I don't think he's out his prime and nothing like that. Still think he in his prime, but I tell you what, you better go ahead and make that fight if you ever gonna make it. Cause the longer it be, it'd be worse, I believe. So Cause you're just only gonna get older. So you just better off making it. Yeah. So Morel, you know, he must have sat down, you know, did did a piece with boxing scene, man. And um Sean scared himself. How easy it was to lay hands on him. Yeah. Yo, yo, I'm telling you, man. Ain't nobody, I ain't, I ain't, nobody can convince me that he won 100% in that fight. Nobody. Him, his pops, nobody can convince me that that man went 100% like, all, like he do all the time. Nobody can convince me of that from what I've seen with that fight. Three months ago, got a PVC, and it'll be easy. You want to see? I'm telling you because I like him. So, look, man, Morrell said, David Morrell said, y'all, I want David Benavidez. I want to fight Benavidez next. No more excuses. No nothing. Let's fight. So, remember, when we be sitting here saying, like, let's just make the fight and things like that, that's what type of time he on. Morrell said, look, man, no excuses. And I'm going I'm to I'm double back to that Conor Ben stuff, too, because I got some quotes. I got some quotes um, from not only him. I think it was somebody else, too, that quoted something about this uh, PED situation. Though. But look, man, David Morrell said he wanted David Benavidez next, man. So after this fight over that he got, and he the co-main, like, look, I don't see why not, bro. He calling for that smoke, and he won it. And I say get it to him. If you think he can't handle it, then show us he can't handle it, but I at least want to see it. You get what I'm saying? I want to see that. That you know what I mean? I want to see it. If he ain't ready, show me he ain't ready. Like, don't just keep saying he ain't ready. Just beat him up. You know what I'm saying? Then you ain't got to worry about him no more. But man, David Morrell will fight for the ninth time as a professional. The emerging southpaw is still listed by the most sports books by at least. Damn, he had 18 to 1 favorite on Saturday to beat the Brazilian veteran. Oh, nah, dude is out, though. Dude is out. He's fighting. Ain't he fighting somebody else? Or is it still the Falco dude, Ghost? I thought that dude was out. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Morale been on the smoke, only Monster 68 from Cuba. <laughs> uh, I feel you, Ghost, that's your boy right there. I rock with, I rock with David Morrell heavy, though. That would be just said they got a mole, and it has to be Joe Goosen. Mm. Joe Goosen out here leaking info, bro. Cecil, what's good with it, Cecil? How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you pulling up. Uh, okay, fight Falco. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is the change of opponents, Falco. Been signs that fight a long time ago. 
We're going to say that even in short notice or not, we ain't giving no more excuse for that. People take short notices every day, B. Like, we ain't giving no more, no excuse. Morel going to do what he going to do, and we know it because I already know what type of time he in. He calling for Benavidez now, too? Nah, he wants smoke, bro. But he said, listen, out of David Morrell's mouth straight up, he's saying right now he's 100% focused on this fight, right? Said this is a big opportunity. He focused on his opponent. He focused on the fight. He said that's it. But said if he's the winner of this fight, y'all, if he's the winner of this fight, he said he's focused 100% on David Benavidez. So David Morrell said, if he's to win this fight, y'all, if he's to win this fight, he's going to be 100% committed and focused on fighting David Benavidez next. And that's the type of energy you like. I don't want to hear that he not ready. I don't want to hear he ain't got enough fights. You know what I'm saying? None of that. I don't want to I just want to see these two dudes fighting. What else? I mean... Who else is Benavidez about to fight? Because Canelo ain't going to give him no shot right now. We know that. And he got to fight, right? So Benavidez just fought not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? You got to think that David Morrell win this fight the way he's supposed to. He probably don't. He probably take minimal damage and could be right back in the ring in a few months. So, uh, again, I don't see why it can't happen, y'all. I don't see why. D3 looks good with D3. Appreciate you stopping through. Probably home insurance money. <laughs> mm. Right. Right, Cash. What's good with D3? That's what I'm saying. Cash is definitely a, um, a real 50 50. Teach what's good with it, Teach. Oh, yeah. Oscar came out there going off. J Ready, what's good with it, bro? Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? It was, it was a good one, Teach. had backup plans. I'm sure he was trained just in case the backup didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see what's let's see Morel's approach being that he got a um a, a different opponent. See if he is able to come out there and get a knockout. My bad, Jolly. I'm I'm looking at it to see if they still is gonna be a fight for sure. Right, right, man. Again, man. I think this been this been fun to watch these two build up and talk crazy and and uh, it's here, man. It's right here, man. We got another day, man. I am not getting that impression from Ryan Garcia. Like my confidence in his abilities. We gonna listen to a little bit of, to of it. That's he's all now. I think yeah. he is confident. He is comfortable. He is oozing confidence right now. I've been very. I've been more impressed with him throughout all of this than I have with Tank. And maybe it's because I expect it from Tank because he's been here before. Mm -hmm. But Ryan Garcia to me, a plus right now. I have to say that that's true. He's stepping into the moment. You do have questions of somebody who's never been exactly at this level against this caliber of opponent. How will he show out? He also could shine and exceed that yep. which is a lot of what he's talking about entering his third fight with joe goosen but stack you've had a lot of different coaches over the years some you've connected with 
some that have gone disastrously, to be fair with right. you. It seems the connection here with Joe Goosen entering fight Los three. Angeles, yes, it's about no keep your hand right. on defense. All right, Ghost. That's what he's saying in his um, about that one -on -one, article, that relationship, too. That focus, which Ryan has said, look, when I was with Team Canelo under Eddie Reynoso, mm -hmm. I didn't get that exact level of one-on-one -on -one time. That's important for a fighter to feel that level of confidence and that support around him coming in. Well, I, I think what makes a great coach and also probably real. what makes a great trainer is being able to communicate. That's the for biggest real, thing. You, you can teach me a lot of things, and I can learn a lot of things from you. But communicating those things, this, uh, Stephen Jackson talking right now. Though, the other one was uh, Brian Kenny. Things. I think that that's what Joe Goose is good at. And I mean, we're seeing a Ryan Garcia who's going to have to keep his weight in check like never before. He came back twice in 2022 after a 16 month break. Both fights in the junior welterweight division. He made that official move up to yeah, 140. I like How did he look you, physically bro, to you, Ariel, this week? Hmm. Maybe some of that ornery nature is coming from a tough fight cut, but I think you can see it a little bit. A little bit gaunt, as they say, but uh, I heard Tank say, are you a 135 or not? Because Ryan was lamenting the fact that he's making him cut to 136. And yeah, to a degree, mm -hmm. he has a point. The vast majority of his fights right. have been right. around Ghost, 135, we want to see but his last fight. two haven't. Mm -hmm. And they made a point to say, you know, we want 136, and they made a point to say only 10 pounds uh, for the rehydration clause. But all this stuff is fun for me. Like, this is great. <laughs> anyway, can we give a shout-out to Leonard showed up, Oscar showing yep. up with that jacket, How about yeah. Leonard's shirt. How about Leonard's rebrand? Re That's like Uncle Phil from The Fresh Prince yeah, right there. Like gotta, beer, beer and also, nice. casual Leonard. Usually, he's very dressed up. Casual Leonard, he... Goosen and Forge, like everyone brought their A game, mm. right? Everyone brought their A game, and that's mm. how you know it's a big fight yes, field. I mean, it's hard to you hear Oscar uh, saying what he uh, said. Oh, Team Davis is scared. Oscar made Bernard Hopkins come down two pounds he, in 2004 when he, they met for the. He said some weird title. stuff, they like you. Like, I think Ash was saying that, like, you don't coach Ryan, you collab with him or something like that. Hate it or love Those, it. You don't the collab with him. It's real. Somebody's got to be the A side. Somebody's got to have the A side. I don't mind that. I don't like the rehydration clause. I don't mind the, hey, come to my territory. Yeah. I don't mind that at all. It's the rehydration clause that I don't Well, maybe we can talk very shortly to a member you gonna call of Uncle the greater Phil? Team Davis. Uh, Uncle Phil, kick your ass. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you that first and <laughs> foremost. As Leonard Allerby, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, should be joining us soon. As we get closer to fight night, you see Ryan Garcia's father, Henry, over his shoulder, addressing the media. This has been a big showcase moment. We've loved the confidence in. You've got that chip on his shoulder. This, make no mistake about it, will be the toughest test of young 24-year-old Ryan Garcia's career. <laughs> yeah, this is this what Ash was talking about. Salute to cuz of. This is what she was talking about. You don't necessarily train Ryan Garcia. You have to collaborate with him because he has the ideas and thoughts. In the ring, true 90%, 99% of the time. What the hell is he talking about, bro? Before we get to the fireworks that were on that stage, rebrand has been pretty damn impressive from saying Ryan style don't wake up on Mars. <laughs> I mean I've seen, a, I've seen a few Uncle Phil uh, jokes online but as we talk Uncle Phil kicked the ass no they Oscar gotta be careful all day all day all day we've we 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 see we built different over here yeah you, you yeah. know it's like you you ain't gonna talk that slick talk to any of us, right? Well, let's start right Dr. there. Mark you took umbrage to with Oscar saying the rehydration clause, the catch weight, that your team is scared. How do you address that? that, that First off, he's a fucking clown. Let's start with that. 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 He, is he forgetting that yeah i could rewind it some yeah i just i just caught it where it was at yeah so i could rewind it some if y'all want because it's it's fight week man so we talking about this all week b dog salute family appreciate you pulling up based upon the comments that you just made i'm around with hyperbole once in a while right but i ain't the one to play with i ain't the one to play with <laughs> right, right, OG. <laughs> Get him. Anybody who knows me, just because of personality. No, right, teach. Right, nah. It's, it's they very vocal. Oh, you no, know I mean, well, Ryan is anyway selling it, and he, he got Tank talking some too, so it's fun. All the time. He handed the, the pay per view baton as the speaker. Right, the teach. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. So I mean, basically, told us Ryan don't listen like to him. In, guy, in, guy, in a slick guy. way, Ghost. He tried to thing. make it cool, Most sound cool. We don't like that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make it sound good. 
Yeah, yeah, we, we play the role. Business is business, but at, at the end of the day, we don't oh, like that. Yeah, yes, he, can you tell me this? We saw the exchange up there, but like behind, behind the stage, behind the scenes, any any words exchanged between you and Oscar? No. Nothing. When? Just then? Yeah. No uh, handshake. No compliment Man. on his swag. No undershirt for us. Listen, like, I, I, like I, again, he's, he's, again, we we feel the same way we feel over here. It's, it's, it's like this dude's a, a clown. Mm. Again, check this out. We paid him a few pennies to, to do some work, and the whole time we pimped his ass. The whole time. <laughs> That's cold. We we took each and every one of his fighters. And who he thought was his fighters, and we beat him one. When I say we beat him, got punch lines too. Beat him one by one. Salute to Mr. Joe. How you feeling today, Queen? Appreciate you stopping through. While he was sleeping mm -hmm. under the wheel, mm -hmm. and he looks up, today. and the fighters who he thought were his fighters, they on this side with us. Mm -hmm. Not that because much. Because he been sleeping under the Not wheel the whole much. time. <laughs> you know, don't talk that slick shit Ryan to me. I'm here. Right, right. And, oh, but all that. No, bro, we don't we don't get down like that over here. Can you co correct things? We thought the narrative ahead of Gervonta's last fight when he took out unbeaten Hector Luis Garcia was he's stepping out from the Mayweather promotion's shadow. You're back up on the stage. Everything looks great. Is that overblown, obviously, correct? We, we, we're family. We, we're family. That's right. Uh, you, you know, sometimes some family have disagreements, and, and they, but we don't have no disagreements over here. It's, it's, just, it's business, and we're also family at the end of the day, and there's nothing but love over here. And Tank know how we how it's been and and how it's always going to be. You know, it, it's like he's growing up too. Yes, he's he's definitely mature. And, and me being an older guy, I can appreciate that, and I tell him that all the time mm -hmm. is that he's a good father. And you you know, over the last couple of years, you, you know, you you can see the mm -hmm. difference. You you see the difference in, right. in how he's matured. But experience is the best teacher. Yes, if you want to be at the top no, of the game, real. you want to master boxing. Who else to learn from from you and Floyd? You want so Golden I get Boy it. You know, experience the is the best teacher. And 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 see, at the end of the day, a one seven, you want Golden Boy off the market. This level, what it's all about, you know. And when you have experienced people who've been there, mm -hmm. who've been there from the business side and Floyd in the ring, you know, it's like. You got the best team in all of boxing. Right. You combine that with Al, there's no stopping. Can't lose. Is it? Would mm -hmm. it be true to say Ryan Garcia deserves the most credit for this fight being made? No, uh -oh. no, uh -oh. no, no. He just uh -oh. he watch just, out. Watch he, out. He, no, 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 no. That, that's my guy I'm right here. Yeah. No, 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 I like no, no. He and again, it's like and it's never, it's never anything personal with the fighters. It's that Ryan, he, he, he did a wonderful <laughs> job. He did a wonderful job right. of stepping up and, and making this happen. Because cool you heard me say this throughout the promotion <laughs> that if it was hey, up to, he was go to boy it was out of here, Oscar, bro. this shit wouldn't be happening. I got to start it, it over, T. I'm going to start it over again. Sure. Johnny Q was happening with his brody. Ariel wants receipts. Is there a text message or a voicemail? Listen, trust me. Trust me on this. He didn't. Want, he didn't want this fight. Didn't want it. because if he wanted to, if he wanted this fight, why would you be trying to do everything to 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 make it go away? Mm -hmm. The whole the whole time before we had the deal was even signed, he's sitting up there, he, he's shooting shots, shooting shots. So that's the quickest way to, do, and it's understood. It's like you ain't trying to make nothing happen because if 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 me and you trying to make a deal. Last thing and, I'm gonna do is sabotage you. And and why would I be sitting here saying disrespectful things about you? Mm -hmm. yeah. as, as, since we're speaking about receipts, um, do you mind spilling the tea for us? Who's this mole that you keep mentioning? What's good? Like what's his name? Bro, I, I, that's identity? one. That, that's one thing about me. We don't do. You know? saying, that's really right, Leonard. Let it out. Let it out, Leonard. <laughs> listen, we do this. This we don't play this. We, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We, snitches get stitches. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just looking yeah, for yeah, the identity. Yeah, we, we we know everything that the young man has been doing. I can tell you mm. how many miles he's ran. Come on, yeah, I know everything. Know everything. Mm. Now was this but brought at the end to of, you? At, at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Nah, facts, go. I ain't never heard of this vocal. That's right. You know what I mean? It's the two fighters. It's not right, about Pete? me. Never. It's not about Oscar. It's not about nobody else. Yo, facts. Eight one seven. You need him out of here. It's our job to put. This our, one personal. <laughs> in in the best situation to be successful. Right. Well, and if Tanks, Tanks earned the right to be the A side, it's like, that's why I was just shocked that he said that. Ella like, B1 dude is about it, bro. the same dude that that made Floyd go up and wait, gave them big ass gloves, and, and set everything to 
put us at a disadvantage. We, we took less money because he was the guy and all that. But we were just trying to, we tricked his ass actually to get in the ring. Let's start with that. <laughs> let's, let's, start, let's, let's start with that. There's more stuff here, Leonard, going on. Look at this. Some jawing continuing. Oh, no. I think Tank threw some money at him or something. Tank does have an extensive purse collection. Leonard, where do we stand on the whole purse thing? The handbag, the handbag. No, not the handbag. The purse bet. Where do we stand on that? That's between the fighters. That's between. It's not going to happen, though, right? It's between them. Would you advise? Like, if Tank says, "Do you think this is a good idea?" Would you say yes? We, 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 if if Tank if Tank comes to his team, see the, the problem is 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 what you heard what Tank said. You heard what Tank. Then he threw some money. I think Tank threw some I, money we at know him. What, what Tank's gonna handle that business? Right. There's no way possible that Ron Garcia is winning this fight. He's not built like that. And 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 there's no disrespect to him as a as a fighter because he's a he's a good he's a good fighter. Yeah, they're not trying to disrespect the Ella B two time. That would be two time. IQ is on another level, and, and Tank's a complete fighter. Well, let, let, Leonard, let me close with this. One thing Oscar did say that I agree with is he says this could be a fight that grows boxing. It could break down walls between people that don't normally work together. Could this be the opening? There's more than one star, young star in the 135, 140 division around there. Could this talk be to him, L Boogie? People working together in this way. Yes, that's L Boogie that's right there. Because again, what you see in boxing is that by these two guys coming together, like you said, all the other fighters. Why not? Why? Why, why not? Because this is this is not name these slick guys back. Are, are taking all the risk. Salute to Dr. Too. Mark, man. Salute to the OG. Much the day, love and appreciation. Exactly y'all go sub to the to the OG Dr. Dr. Mark if y'all have it, man. Y'all liked it. Y'all like to hear real good gems being dropped. Trust me, and, and Dr. Mark is your guy. Sure. The CEO of Mayweather Promotions, a guy that does not y'all suffer fools easily. Y'all go sub to the OG Dr. Mark if y'all have it. Got me hot out here. I know my mom is rolling around in her grave. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It was amazing. I'm never going to lie. We not tolerating none of that. We wish you guys the best heading into Saturday. <laughs> yes, Team Tank Davis. This guy's fired up right here. I, get, I love it. I get, I love it. I get I down it. for that one right there. Uh, no shortage of interest in this fight. No shortage of okay. potential me and the team. audience. I mean, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth our time, our money. Sending me TikToks with a shirt. Our right. energy. Garcia, Instagram reels. Our time is going to be fun, man. Uh, we talked off the top that this attracts a different audience, that crossover audience, but a younger audience. I mean, oh, yeah. it, we said, as I referenced off the top, and Steven Espinosa, the president of Showtime Sports this week, agreed with me. It might be that social media super fight feel where reaching directly to different fan bases and bringing them in. 1,000%. And by the way, one of my dreams is to roll up to work wearing a sweatsuit like him with the glasses. and the. I mean, that's yeah. like the dream yeah. right there. Leonard you can, you can do it. Man. You can do it. But I don't know if I'm there. Giving gifts, are there. How they be talking about? Giving gifts to kids, maybe? Bro, it's not what you got on. It's who got it on. Yeah. Remember that. I mean, Leonard got it Remember on. Remember that. <laughs> he got it on. Um, look. In the last couple of years, what have we seen in Dr. boxing? Mark, right? This I appreciate media, the gym, the world with appreciate your work, Paul, appreciate your consistent guys, right? content But we have rarely day, seen man. the legitimate well boxers who are social media stars Mark. as well, right? Salute this is to what the everybody in here that supports us like, content creators. This is a different guy, y'all. fighting each other. And it's so a different grind. They Errol might not Spence, tell you that, but just do one thing. It's a different grind. Music doing their thing. These two young guys who are less ain't cut. accomplished in terms of resumes and have been fighting for a less amount of time than those four guys are the ones who are making this happen. And that's why I feel like there's going to be FOMO come Saturday. And that's why I feel like when you talk about the trickle down effect, different. I bet you we're mm -hmm. going to see. Crawford and Spence made after they see this happen. I bet you we're going to see Fury Newsick back into the year after this yep. happens because they're going to say, "Look at the buzz! Look at the look at the attention! Look at the spotlight! We want that, yep. right?" And so that's why I give both of these guys so much credit. I mean, and a, you're right, you're right. In a perfect right. world, the winner of Saturday's Davis Garcia fight is looking to face the 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 Haneys, the Lomachenkos, the Teofimos, the Shakur Stevensons, and continue to make the biggest fights possible. When we talk about the stakes stack, some have said, Oscar said it too. Maybe this is crowning the new face of boxing. Canelo Alvarez is at the 
second chapter of his prime, the undisputed champion at 168, still doing big things. Would you agree with that, that, that there's an opportunity here if this fight lives up to its entertainment, his commercial expectations, that we are looking at somebody who can take the baton? Yeah, because these two guys have the two biggest fan bases, and they couldn't be more different, right? We had both of those guys on our show, and we asked them, if you were stuck on the island, what three shows would you take? Ryan mentioned Lion King and some other stuff, and you got uh, Tank talking about boys in the hood, men's <laughs> society. So these guys couldn't be more different, right? But their fan base is so huge that they're bringing two fan bases together you know, to, to make this fight. And that's why I was so big. And both of these guys are social media stars. But like you said, there are real boxers. And that's what we haven't seen before. Well, let's stay with your chats on all the smoke alongside your great co-host, Matt Barnes. You sat down with both fighters, long form, detailed, got to hang out with them off camera. We know a lot about the confidence of Ryan Garcia. What did you learn about Tank Davis, though? Yes, he's got that business attitude, been here, done that. But what about the real guy behind the scenes? Well, perfect example. We get there and we are, you know, me and Matt flew in late. We get to the interview. Tank's there to work out. He's not trying to get interviews. So we had his attitude was, I'm not even going in. So we had to move everything out the way and just let him train. But us being athletes, we understand how important routine Salute is. Salute to everybody. So we and move flies on the wall. The fact that he let us stay in camp, you know, and, and watch him work out. We was just flies on the wall. We saw everything. We saw him prepare. His face is just different the way he was training. Like, he really wants to hurt somebody. And we were able to get the interview after. But to see him training, to see his focus, to see how he was he was locked in on training. And this was, I got the fight is more important. These interviews don't mean nothing if I don't win this fight. He's locked in that way. So uh, it was just exciting to, to spend time with both of these guys for a big fight. Could I ask, um, and, and perhaps you can't answer, and I totally respect if you can, uh, whose training impressed you more? Uh, so we didn't see Ryan work out. Okay. We didn't see Ryan work out. Um but did you, did you identify the mole or at least try to play a little? Uh, was it? I didn't know it was the mole at the okay. time. I, it was, I, I, it I was the janitor was the with a candlestick, right? Maybe he's the mole. I'm just, make, I, I, I'm just the making sure the mole <laughs> doesn't try to get me to work I mean, he with. He wants yeah. some of that stuff. I'm not I don't doing know if that. He really wants all yeah. of it. Yeah, right? I, don't, yeah. I don't like wires and doesn't like that. No, shit. no, no, no. I, I won't wear, <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to wear a wire. I am right now. Believe that. To your previous point, we were talking off camera, and I asked you, are a lot of players coming in? this and you said everyone right yes like of, of since you've been a part of the showtime family mm -hmm. have you ever seen a response from your your fellow you know players brothers as far as their interest in a fight not since floyd fight? mayweather wow. not since floyd mayweather uh during the basketball season me and my uh, best friend al hansen we used to take turns meeting sam watson the day before the fight meeting him at the cage taking our large lump sums of cash just to get good seats to floyd mayweather's fights wow as, uh, me and a lot of my basketball friends but this fight uh, he spies in the gym teachers because people know i'm with showtime and they yeah. think i got access which i don't but this is definitely the biggest fight everybody's going to be That's here this lying. weekend and like i said <laughs> this is the floyd mayweather effect for sure ariel we both cover mma on a full-time level as well if yeah bring man the they MMA bringing them people out there around here with like that move stuff i'm telling you this is like the one yo but one you know what teach i mean johnny why do you think that Pardon me, you know what? Because y'all both talking about it. You know what, Johnny and Teach? I heard they really know what's going on in that camp. All jokes aside, like all trolling, like I heard they really know what's going on in the camp. I heard, I really did. I really heard they know what's going on in the camp out there. This is two in terms of popularity are fighting each other. They're undefeated. Jim, always, always showing love, putting that color in the chat, man. Much love and appreciate you supporting this great grind, man. Truly appreciate you, man. Truly, truly appreciate you, man. Much love and appreciate And we ain't never got a box again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I already been getting these back, but 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 now it's time for you to get your just do. In terms of personalities, in terms of records and resumes, this feels like an MMA fight. It's something that MMA fans can relate to. Yeah, crosses over on the level where and everyone can understand. It's got a little bit of that old school feel and how it was built and the chances both fighters took of saying to their teams that that that, that work with them, Salute, no, Jim, I need this fight you, now. There is no plan B. I did a feature you know, for CBS Sports in which joint. I talked about people both on and off the record. I'm about eight one seven Leonard ain't playing no games. Yeah. Theme. It come, came down to both fighters digging in and saying, we're not looking to make money against right, somebody else. Seven. We're not looking to extend this. We're not looking to build. His take's been pissing me off game. lately. I wanted to pop in here. Should we have had to wait five and a half years? It certainly helped nah. the financial bottom line. But look, here we are right now. Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible, the records of these two. But can Ryan Garcia make the leap and overcome that lack of experience comparative to, to Tank Davis? Can Tank overcome the four and a half inch height advantage on paper, which you were saying when they when they faced off didn't look as bad. as bad. Maybe coming in, so many questions to have answered on Saturday. You can purchase it right now on Showtime pay per view, eight p.m. Eastern. The four fight pay per view main card. 
Don't forget, if you want a little bit extra of Ariel Hawani, your boy BC here, how about Kate Abdo, the fantastic uh, sports analyst and, and host, is going to be there for Showtime pay-per-view countdown, 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's going to go down on the Showtime Sports YouTube channel. Some good young promising fighters we're going to be calling, and we are certainly going to be setting the stage inside the arena. As we look further onto this fight week, Friday will be the weigh-in, the final time. I'm sure the tensions will be rising even Great higher. Bro. We were just Lord. here for David Benavides and Caleb Plant. That weigh-in was electric. Yes. The crowd oh. that night was electric. Anything you guys are looking to see, I'll start with you, Stack, from the mental warfare standpoint, because... Some people say that doesn't matter. Well, only what matters happens inside the ring. I think the fight starts when the fight is announced, when you start seeing the back and forth, the press conference. I think it all matters. What are you looking for on Friday? Yeah, I mean, for, for me, um, it's going to be really the same thing. Yeah, Both that's guys, you know, everything. I'm, I'm boxing is my world. Nah, facts. You know, I've been hearing, bro. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Much love and appreciate you. Salute to my bro, Jim. I appreciate you, my talking doesn't matter. None of that. All these guys are going to be nervous. But being nervous doesn't mean you're scared. It means you're anxious about being great. And I think these guys know about this moment. And very quick plug, if sure. I may, can I give an old uh, Mick Foley cheap plug? I'd love to. You don't watch this network. Watch Mick the other Foley. one. Mick Foley cheap plug, 1 p.m. Eastern. Salute to my bro, Undercar. Man, yes, sir. Showtime I'm grinding. I'm here for the people. Channel. Yep. Myself, we gonna keep grinding, y'all. Paul Pierce. And my bad, y'all hear me snacking. Talking a little bit. Al Harrison might stop by. Al Harrison might stop by. They are because they heard I'm involved. Yeah, so, yeah, they're big. Trying to tell y'all though, these things the right here. Stopping by. Really? Yeah. A who's who? BC will uh, stop can, by. Can I put out another plug? Just do talk to you, man. Time out, y'all. 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow with a bevy of special guests, including our brother with Diamante, El Diamante, Raul Marquez, Dan Canova. I'm right, done snacking. I'm done. Pardon Wilson me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I show too. Uh, so I'll warm up. Yeah, and Ron just told me that Ron just real life teams in killing me. That's entire person beat me. <laughs> that's another thing too. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, Welcome to the family. Thank you. We know we can catch. Ask because that's something else too. Um, that one of the family sent it to me. Okay, we'll be there. Uh, that is Stephen Jackson, Ariel Hawani, and Brian Campbell. We'll be with you the rest of the week here from Las Vegas. Saturday night Showtime pay-per-view. The Travante Tank Davis against King Ryan Garcia. Order the pay-per-view right now on Showtime pay-per-view. But until then, get fired up, get ready. It all goes down Saturday night in the desert. It's Davis Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the media workout. Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia, a matchup that has been talked about for over two years. I fought some of the best fighters my whole life. Hard right hand. Wow. No matter what's trying to take me down, I choose to move forward. I choose to fight and conquer on top, no matter what. I don't care about words. I know what's in my heart. I know who I am, and I know that I'm a fighter. We see Tate dazzle us and entertain us. We see Ryan dazzle us and entertain us. We get to see both of them at the same time. This is the biggest fight of this generation right here. It's about the generation that's coming. Can't believe it, boy. My heart like boom. We have a tremendous card from top to bottom. You are going to see yeah, for the fight in town, Texas. Texas. Did you on stage? <laughs> oh, man. Let me see something, y'all. Let me see if I could uh let me see if I could go back to the to the beginning a little bit, y'all. Hear some of the beginning. Let me First see. round in terms of the press conference showing the play. Uh, kind of alpha dog him. Give me your thoughts on fighting on big names. Watch the it's a more immense and um being promoted by G. His hands in boxing. Everyone talks about. Everyone talks I'm trying about to find social it. media following. But that's not really the important thing. Salute to everybody you know, in the building. Appreciate y'all patience. We're rocking out today, man. We're going to listen to some of this here the uh, boxers press in the conference, man. He clearly is. And everyone talks about his speed. But that's not the only thing. He has knockouts in six of his last seven fights, including over Javier Fortuna this past July. 
Ryan's two biggest wins. I don't care about him Luke knocking Campbell on no 15. And they pissing me off about that weak ass win. That week, that went suck. Sorry, yeah, that went suck. So we've got a great match. Fortuna was overweight. Saturday. As Brian said, special start time, 5 p.m. Pacific. How are you over, overweight and you Eastern. less than 150 pounds? Tank you is overweight. Tank versus Ryan is supported by Are you supposed to come in weighing 100? You know I mean? You overweight. Over 5 man. million views on YouTube. Overweight little point. ass man. And, of course, we will be producing our Javier Fortuna, Fortuna was an old, as well. overweight man. Showtime has a history of... Long history, nearly Talk 40 him, years you of know the biggest, most memorable, most historic, most fight. important fights. The interest in from fights Hagler, Hearns to Tyson, to Holyfield to Chavez, Corrales, Castillo, and, and of course the biggest pay-per-view events in history. Fights. Lewis Tyson, Mayweather Canelo, Mayweather Pacquiao. You saying why is this fight um, renewing interest in other fights that's like pulling teeth to make? If I think I'm understanding how you ask in the Thrill Hill, salute to my brother Thrill Hill. Maybe um, I guess the fact that it's cross promotion and maybe to give people some hope that they can make, you know what I mean? Like it's a it's it's kind of like shame on you. These dudes is on the other opposite sides of the streets and they done made a fight. And look how young Ryan is. He's 24 years old. Tank only 28 years old. You know, maybe they could come from that approach. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it makes people kind of want to stand on business because they're doing it in a sense. You get what I'm saying? Maybe if I'm if I'm understanding how you what you're saying. Perfect time to announce it. It would be, bro. It would absolutely be. The biggest pay per view. The biggest pay per view. Yeah, right. He's trying, he's, trying he's, he's trying to hurt something. He's trying to hurt something. B dog say he got knocked out. Shit, Fortuna, right? Worst shape of his career. B dog. He had love handles, bro. You never seen how rare Fortuna with love handles. B dog. No slight to him. We just knew what we was getting right when you seen that man had love and at hands. This point, rose, I'm like back rose and stuff. Done. I'm like, nah, this he's about to lose. We'll go down on that I'm list. It's yeah, that I mean, big. Could find a week Don't miss it. Got in the ring. Talk to him, Will. Because they, 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 they talk it. It's easy to talk it. It's harder to prove it, Will. And they, and they a lot Next of times season. they learn that when it's too late. Next to the podium. Well, right, right, right. Pretty much, I, and how he did with the how he did He's with the, the punishment. You know what I mean? It's gonna CEO. be fun to see him take these golden punches. I ain't gonna lie. He's the golden boy I ain't gonna lie. Mr. Luke Tony, Oscar though. De La Hoya. Bad blood and trash talking. Right? It's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's little aspects of things that make it. It's exciting for for his different reasons. Thank you. To, but don't uh, get it wrong. This ain't that here. straight like nerve wrecking type that, fight uh, when you know you getting the like this you know what I mean. Be the new king the of the sport. That's the absolute best in there, though. You know what I'm saying. You're all here to see but it. There are little avenues and aspects you know, of the fight that I definitely enjoy. someone who spent most of his early I life agree. in the ring. But get what I'm saying, dude, dog? They could go ahead and make a fight with Chaz Stoney pussyfooting around. And like, this is the putting, highest you know level. I mean, dragging ass. I look at Ryan, and I know he's ready. I look at Ryan's team, yeah, Ryan and they know he's ready. ready. First I look at right. Tank, you know what I'm saying? and he looks ready. Yeah, real talk, Mike Bates. When I look talk. at Tank's team's AJ, actions throughout the whole promotion, How you feeling, I am bro? left to wonder, do they Appreciate really think this guy is ready? Man. Appreciate you, bro. Catch weights and rehydration clauses, Shut late up. afternoon weigh-ins. Listen to him. All of these small, petty requirements points to a team that looks to protect their fighter. And why oh. would they protect their fighter? Oh, he's talking they crazy. Think? Maybe he's not ready for this moment. Oh, he's talking crazy. I really believe that Tank's team is worried he's going to lose. And when you're a fighter, nothing feels worse than your team not believing in you. And then you look at Ryan, who was so hungry, so willing, so ready for this stage, that he simply said yes to every request, no matter what it was. That is a confident fighter. That is a fighter whose team has his back. That is a fighter who is ready. And it's why you're going to see Ryan come out as the new face of boxing Facts, on Saturday Ash. night. Thank you. Definitely project projection for sure. Tank ain't worried about a damn thing. He ain't worried about y'all. Right. Like the right. Oscar round would be moved. Like Jaime McGee, right? Yeah, Oscar came out They're swinging. They talking about throwing Jaime there in there with Bevel. Let's uh, get this going. Uh, B dog, I, I, it's some whispers Coming about that for a now. summer fight. Let's see if they He's actually throw him to the wolves listen, like that. He comes up, he may have switched up his look Beaver a little bit. His B swag um, is still yeah, the same. Uh, He's the CEO, Mayweather promotion. Fate was good with my brody Fate. How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. How you feeling? Thank you. Say, so ain't stutter. Mm -hmm. The talk is done. 
It's go time this Saturday. Nah, he on it. Biggest fight in boxing. And Oscar, those comments you make. First off, uh, we believe in tank a thousand percent. A thousand percent. So when it comes to you, you have no room to talk about anything. We've been the A side in this situation, and that's how the A side carries itself. Okay? By rehydrating a fighter? Like I said, <laughs> like, like, like I said, like I said, you've been asleep at the, under the fucking wheel for many, many years. I'm here, baby. That's exactly why we took all your fucking fighters Ooh. and Floyd beat them all while you've been asleep under the fucking wheel. Okay? And it's going to be no different this come this Saturday night. Okay. Tank Davis by KO, like I've been saying, and it might be early. Thank you. Round three. We're going to hear from some of the camp. Before we do that, I want to acknowledge Henry Garcia, father of Ryan Garcia. I want to acknowledge one of the partners of Golden Boy, Hall of Famer, one of the greats, Bernard Hopkins. Let me bring to the podium. Uh, one of the newest members. Hold on, yeah, we're gonna have to hear some of that again. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to you, I was talking crazy. Is still the same. He's the CEO. Oh, it was Mayweather getting spicy, y'all. My bad. Leonard, we going salute to everybody in the building, man. Much love Thank and you. appreciation to y'all sitting through this. The talk man. is done. It's go time this Saturday. Biggest fight in boxing. And Oscar, those comments you make. First off, uh, we believe in tank a thousand percent, a thousand percent. So when it comes to you, you have no room to talk about anything. We've been the A side in this situation, and that's how the A side carries itself. Okay. By rehydrating a fighter. Like I said, <laughs> like 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 I said, like I said, you've been asleep at the under the fucking wheel for me. Okay. Let me pause that real quick, y'all. You know why I ain't buying that? You know why I know there's just promotion and he just selling it? Because you're on record, you goofy dude. And I will pull up the interview where you're shooting down the rehydration calls and saying how he's a professional and it ain't going to bother him. You know, Ryan's a true professional. It is way just not going to. Then you wait till you get in front of some people with some microphones and some cameras to pull your skirt back up. You get what I'm saying? Get your thong out of your ass, Oscar. We know how you be coming. We know how you like to carry it, buddy boy. You know what I mean? Don't piss me off up there just talking crazy. I almost let that slide. I just had to think about that for a second. Don't slip that in here. Don't make the rehydration of calls not a problem one minute. Then when you get the cameras in front of you, it's a problem again. Get out of here, weirdo. It's not a problem, man. You wouldn't have had to worry about a rehydration calls if your whole ass fighter would have got would have signed the contract at 35. And pardon, pardon the language, but... He, if he would have got his, if he'd have got his lazy, undisciplined ass in 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 May 135, he wouldn't have had to worry about a rehydration call straight like that. So stop whining about it because we all know these fighters don't win fights with weight; they win it with skills or lack thereof. In Ryan case, man, get your ass out of here, uh, 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 Oscar. By rehydrating a fighter, like I said, <laughs> like 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 I said, like I said. You've been asleep at the under the fucking wheel for many, many years. I'm here, baby. That's exactly why we took all your fucking fighters. Ooh. Talk to him, beat him all. Talk to him, B-Dog. Why you been asleep under the fucking wheel? Talk to him. Okay? That's why you told him to sleep under no the wheel. And it's going to be no different this coming this Saturday night. Okay. Tank Davis by KO, like I've been saying. And it might be early. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Talk to him, Leonard, man. Talk to him, bro. Talk to him, Leonard. <laughs> All why you've been asleep under the fucking wheel. Talk okay. And it's gonna be no different this come this Saturday night. Okay. Tank Davis by KO, like I've been saying, and it might be early. Thank you. Talk to him, Leonard. Feel me, B Dog. I hear you, bro. Talk to him, bro. They hit Kovalev with one, it was cool, right? When it was your fighter doing it, it was cool. You 
You buster. Uh, right. Stop whining, bro. Let's get to round three. Right. He should have asked with your zesty ass and then walked off. We're going to hear from on some him. of the camp. Mike drop on Before it. Before we do that, I want to acknowledge Henry Garcia. Father of Ryan Garcia. Garcia. I was going to try everything to get out of that fight. Facts, bro. want to acknowledge Facts. one of the partners of Golden Boy. Thank you was even hard. Oh, I said, thank one you. of the greats. <laughs> Bernard Hopkins. Sorry, uh, Armani suit gave us uh, huh? behind my buffs. <laughs> got my got me steaming behind these buffs. Uh, one you know of the newest saying? members of the International Boxing Hall of Fame. He's now the trainer of Ryan Garcia, Mr. Joe Goosen. Been pretty interesting so far. Uh Leonard. Oscar, yeah. I, look, uh, I, I don't have look, any more words look. with anybody because um, you guys the see his, j- his jacket, yeah. Ash, you guys see this leather jacket? He this cool as hell. He look like Fonzie. He like an old ass Fonzie with his leather on, uh, yeah. Put together in a long. And these are just jokes, y'all. But but, but uh, Joe Goosen look like an old ass Fonzie with his leather on. I'm dead serious. He look like the Fonz. Very unique. That this uh, fight is attracting so much interest. Yeah, and uh, uh, I think uh, that interest uh, is going to be uh, fulfilled Saturday <laughs> night in the ring. Um, but I, I would just like to say this about my own fight. Uh, 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 I'll let Tank's people speak for him. Ryan Garcia is one of the most uniquely talented fighters I've ever been involved with in a half a century. And I, I'm telling you, the people that know me know I don't mess around. And I've never seen anybody train as hard, uh, focused as much as he is. Um, he has a deep faith. Uh, uh, he has a deep faith in himself as well. I, I just can't say enough great things about him. And he's going to bring something very special to the ring Saturday night. I can guarantee you that. Thank you. David Scott, salute family. Coming Appreciate to the podium now. How you feeling? Is a man who's been with Javante Davis Scott, since he you, was Joe a young man. What's good? I think David that's what Scott. he calls Appreciate him. You pulling up. He's his trainer. How you feeling, Mr. Bro? Calvin Ford? Salute to the fam in the building. Y'all punch that like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. Just we just listening to some of this press conference, y'all. How y'all doing, Joe? Good job. B. Here we go again with another one. Man, Oscar shooting shots, man. You know how it is on the A side? I don't do too much talking. We do it. Be prepared. Saturday night, man. Because it's on. It's definitely on. In the words of my partner, Kenny, we're going to put some knuckles on somebody. I don't train them for knockouts. I train him for punishment. I want you to feel it. I'm sending the message to all of them through you. We'll see. That's it for me. Short and sweet. Calvin Ford ain't playing no games. All right, coming to the podium now. Guys came here because you want to hear the fighters. This young man, unbeaten. You've already heard the credentials. He's electrifying. He's fast. He's powerful. He calls himself the king. King Ryan Garcia. King Ryan Garcia. <laughs> King Ryan Garcia, my what ass. What an honor to be here. Uh, you do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm seeing that my face yeah, 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 smash on, on the that big screens you, bro, at MGM. They go to flash this is what talking, I dreamed y'all. of since I was a little boy. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm here, so dude. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. The uh, Duro Boxing Salute family. I don't have Appreciate much to say, really. Nothing's really in my mind. Ryan could win this. It's by KL. Javante will go. 
for the distance and win by decision due to Mayweather on the divider. I know that there's a big, big task at hand, star was born. but I know I'm going to come out victorious. And, uh, yeah, I think Thank you, Jesus Christ, for all that uh, he's done uh, for me in my life. Dale. That's why I'm here today. Up, bro. We got to smash the like button. Sub to the and channel. I'm ready to do what I do. Appreciate you stopping Like you say, we do what we do. Well, I'm ready to do what I do. Oh, I'm gonna end him. I promise that. <laughs> you, you heard right? That's all I got to say. Ah, nah. I do. Like you, I'm gonna come out victorious. Nah. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for all that He's done for me in my life. That's why I'm here today, and I'm ready to do what I do. Like you say, we do what we do. Ah. I'm ready to do what I do. <laughs> I'm going to end him. I promise that. It's you over. cool with me, Ryan. You cool with say. me. Just for doing that. You cool. You still Thank going you to say. sleep, but you cool. Chris, thank you, you cool, Jesus bro. Christ, for all that he's done for me in my life. Nah, That's why cool, I'm here today. Bro. You tried And it. I'm ready to do what I do. Like you say, we do what we do. <laughs> I'm ready to do what I do. <laughs> I'm going to end him. I promise that. It's over. It's That's all I got to say. You give it to a Ryan. We do what we do. Oh man, he talking to Coach Cal. <laughs> Coming to the podium, man. Young man, yeah, it's it. world champion. Guy. He ain't even said right. <laughs> and again, one of the most vicious Ryan, punches wow, in the that sport. Facts, yeah. Shots fired, Coach Cal. Right, right. Reps Baltimore. He is Gervonta Tank Davis. <laughs> Let's go, Tank. Uh, I just want to uh, thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank uh, Steve Espinosa, Showtime, Al Heyman, uh, Leonard, um, Floyd Mayweather, and my personal team. Um, we here. Enough with the talking. Uh, I'm ready to get down and dirty, baby. I'm from Baltimore City, and you'll see uh, how we carry it come Saturday. So see y'all then. Team, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Calvin, we'll start with the trainers. <laughs> right, right, <Calvin> guys. So. <laughs> Tell the people, in your opinion, nah, B, dog. why Tank Javante Tank Davis running, is going to win this fight Saturday. Boxing and hurting. Over I'm East, they you know, talk to him. Uh, <laughs> he said he's the king. And this vicious right here. I ain't never seen a king hold his kingdom down when you have a vicious crew come through. We come coming through. through. Yeah, when I say we vicious. We ain't just boxing. We doing this. Come Saturday night, be prepared. Be prepared. I got my man Kenny Ellis, the Bible. He's on it. Mm-hmm. Be prepared for Saturday night. I told you I'm sending a message. Not just through, not just you, through the rest of them. Stop playing with my youngin. Stop playing with my youngin. I'm telling you. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> Same question to you. Talk to him. Tell Stop us playing with my Ryan youngest, Garcia man. is going to win Saturday night. Brian asks well, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to <laughs> what we're going to do in the ring, obviously. How we're going to do in the ring, obviously. But what we've been working on in the gym. Ryan is, perf- you know, Ryan is uh, performing extremely well in the gym, man. Uh, yeah, he's breaking the hands of the sparring partner. Shut up, man. Just just shut up. You might as well ask Skip if you was going to get up here and talk like this, Joseph. I call his ass Joseph because I don't know why he up here talking like this. Well, Ryan, yeah, you know, obviously, yeah. He's going to get in the gym, man. You know, he's doing a tremendous job. Man, whatever, gonna Joseph. What we're going to do in the ring, what we're going to do in the ring, um, man. No. But what we've been working uh, on in what the we've gym. Been working on in the uh, gym. Ryan has perfected a game Ryan plan and game alternative plan. game plans. Alternative if game plan. No. And um, boy, he don't even believe that shit. Joseph. He is just with that damn comb over with Jack. He got a jail comb over. Say, yeah. the best I've ever trained ever. <laughs> with a and leather jacket, the fun. His best old is ass fun. And I think Saturday night. He's going to prove that. I and I, I told him, night. I said, Saturday gonna night, that. you're going to change the face of boxing. <laughs> right. Ron I Burgess. believe it, and he <laughs> believes it, and our whole team believes it. Anchor man. And his fans believe it. You know what I'm saying? Stop and playing with my young No smoke TV. Understand what I'm saying. Smoke. Thank you. How you feeling, bro? Guys, Tank, if you can move your mic closer to That's you. That's good with smoke. 
let's get the first thing out of the way that kind of went viral. I guess you guys were on Twitch the other day. You guys made a bet. Right, sir. That basically, the winner takes all. Now, I know you guys both have worked extremely hard like, dude, for this fight. Is, cat, right? And the last thing oh, a fighter wants to do is fight. give his purse away. So, was that just hyperbole, hyping the fight, or is that real, Tank? Every time they talk about Ron trying to make it official. Definitely trying to make it official. They don't sound convinced his, at all. His, uh, his, his uh, uh, advisor called and, you know what I mean, begging that we don't make that that big of a you know what I mean? So, uh, I guess. She called it Rob Burgundy, bro. Ryan, Back your thoughts on that? We're going to shed yeah, a Yeah, same thing. I mean, uh, I'm a man of my word. Mm-hmm. I said it, and I was ready yeah, to do it. And I told up. everybody, let's just get it done. Whatever I you want. It. I feel so, I'm already ready to. I know I'm going to win, so uh, might as well take everything from him. But, again, I just feel like uh, – I, I wouldn't do it to him anyways. Even when I knock him out, I'm not going to take the money from him. Tank, listen. He's confident. He should be. And he's confident that he's going to stop you. You haven't lost. You certainly haven't touched the canvas. Your thoughts on Ryan Garcia saying that he's going to take you out? Delusional. <laughs> Delusional. That's it. Put the money up. Put the money up. Put it up for real. You also said this is the fight where I'm going to prove to the people I am what I say I am. What does that mean? And what is that? He's going to fail me. For sure. He's going to fail me. He's going to fail me. And if Ryan's going to fail you, tank. what does that mean when you say I am what I say I am? Like a car what do you mean by that? Yeah, one that ain't selling no cars either, AJ. He that all lazy. Well, you know, I was what we're gonna do in the ring, yeah. So I put the work in. You know, Ryan. You know I mean? I it's got gonna be. It's out gonna out show there. something special so, at night. It's gonna. It's gonna set the world on fire. Sure. You know, um, you're gonna see something Ryan, special that night. Watching all um, access. Well, you know, obviously, yeah. Like, there was whatever, a quote where Joseph. Tank said, "You guys are calling Ryan Garcia a star." I don't know him if he's a star star. in the ring. He's a star on social media. What is Tank gonna find out <laughs> on Saturday night? <laughs> Exactly right by here. Self. <laughs> you don't get to this position so you like so. without having something special. <laughs> they go you uh, any, any uh Fats. anybody with a clear mind can see and that. oils, the, the uh, thin oils, not the good guess, oils uh, though. Cheap again, joint. you just have to wait and see when I'm in there. Why I'm so special? Facts. Tell them put he the money see up. It, but uh, see it. Put it up Unless all the way. Put that money it's up. Like you're laughing, but it's, I'm dead serious. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be over quick. And I think so it's going to be over quick. Keep it so look at quick. You. One punch. That's what? what you talk about that one. Speak a little louder. I can't hear you. <laughs> you say you keep relying on that one punch. That's all it's going to take. I just need a scene shot. Just what? this one. Just one. I just need this one. Trust me. The left okay, I only need one, too. Okay. You could get that, too. That's fine. All right, then. We just both got it. We bro, both got like, it. Come on, bro. I can't hear I you. I touch that jaw. I'm telling you, you're going to sleep. <laughs> when I touch anything, <laughs> you're going to sleep. I promise you. Once I touch that jaw, you're going to Talk to him, Tank. Break your jaw. Mm, Talk to him. I feel like I'm going to break your jaw with the hook. I just see you. Don't even, you don't I just see you on the jaw. floor with a broken jaw. You go at the temple. Seriously. You go at the temple. You don't go at the jaw. Say what? I'm going to break your jaw. I promise you. I, don't even bring your mother or your daughter. Mm-hmm. Don't bring them. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to see them. Don't bring them. Mm-hmm. Don't bring them. <laughs> <I'm laughs> Tank got that Black them. Air Force energy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tate got that black Tate, Air Force energy, bro. You go at the temple. You don't go at the jaw. Say what? I'm going to break your jaw. I, <laughs> I, I, I just see you. Don't even, you don't I just see you on the jaw. floor with a broken jaw. You go at the temple. Seriously. You go at the temple. You don't go at the jaw. Say what? I'm going to break your jaw. I promise you. <laughs> don't ever bring your mother or your daughter. Don't bring them. Oh, you're going to see them. Don't bring them. Don't bring them. I'm telling you. Don't bring them. <laughs> Ryan said, "You gonna see him?" <laughs> Promise you. What's you said you keep relying on that one punch. That's all what? it's gonna take. I just need a scene shot. Just what? this one. Just one. I just need Tank this said, one. What? Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I only need one too. Okay, we'll get that too. That's fine. All right, then we both got it. We both got it. Like, 
Come on, bro. I can't hear I you. I touch that jaw. I'm telling you, going to sleep. <laughs> when I touch anything, for you going to sleep. I promise you. Once I touch that anything, jaw, you're going to sleep. Right, right, David. You know that we got that Man. tank at that black air force. I feel like I'm gonna break your jaw with the hood. For real, I just bro. See, <laughs> I just see you on the floor with a broken jaw. Go at the tip. Seriously. He's just go saying the anything. You don't go at the jaw. Say what? I'm gonna break your Say jaw. What? I promise you. <laughs> don't even bring your mother or your daughter. Don't bring them. Oh, you're gonna see them. Don't bring 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 them. <laughs> like, don't bring them. I remember when we were in LA. <laughs> Tank gonna smack. That the thing, the difference Tank is Tank really need it, bro. He really I'm gonna, gonna try to doing that doing one, yo. Drown you. He gonna try to doing yeah, one, yo. Watch. I mean, they always talk. They're talking about. I just you know, want to see if his confidence wavers once he get hit. I life, think that's man. where his confidence going to shake. You don't punish and nobody. Drew, great. What's so good, get that out of your losing mind, bro. Food, man. Appreciate you are you not going to punish me in no man. way, no chance. So get hit, right? You're going to get punished. You got the lowest punch output Definitely in boxing fake. right now. You understand yeah, that you're not punishing nobody. You're the most accurate too. That's fine. But you're not punishing nobody. The most accurate too. You're not punishing nobody though. I'm the most accurate. Get that out of your mind. You walked into the wrong guy right here. The things you got away with before, they're catching up to you. This is the moment where everything catches up for you in every way. Trust me. Trust me. In every way, everything's catching up to you Saturday night. Saturday, everything. Your whole career is going to come to a halt. Not, not finished. You'll be able to come back a good man. But trust me, everything comes to a halt on Saturday night. Finish. Okay. You're going to learn the hard way. Okay. You, you don't see what it, you're going to learn the hard what way. The you hard at? way is coming to you real quick. What, what hard way you at? Third term, William. He still got to so He still got his black Trust Air me. Force, man. Make sure you've been practicing on keeping your hands up. Do that. Oh, you haven't watched your tape, brother. No, you got to watch. You haven't watched your tape if you talk about hands up. Right. You 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 delusional right. about your defense. Trust me, right. man. Gamboa had you bruised up. Yeah. Can you look at the truth? You for keep one? talking about people what? he knocked out. You are real delusional, <laughs> hey, man. Javante, this is, this is probably the first time you faced a guy who has been extreme. Don't get me wrong. You faced guys who felt like, hey, like I, I don't believe his confidence. Though I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Seems like he hey, said Ryan throw up every night. Speaking it, <laughs> I don't believe his confidence though. I swear I, I don't, y'all. No disrespect like, to him. I don't believe it sounds fake. If 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 uh, Joe Goosen was so so much of a, a a great trainer, fix his his fundamentals. This guy don't have no fundamental at all. All he's relying on is a weak ass hook. That's it. <laughs> That's all he's relying on is a hook. That's all. <laughs> That's all he wearing on, uh, relying on. Yeah. Is a hook. No defense, no nothing, no footwork, no nut, no head movement. He don't have no head movement, no nothing. He don't have nothing. Get on his ass, he's a, man, Get on his ass, Get him, take. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Take time over. Hold on. I think you kind of. Take just start fast. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if uh, Joe Goosen was so so much of a, a, a great trainer, fix his, his fundamentals. Him, this guy don't have no fundamental at all. Right, all right, he's right, ass, because he just talking. Ass hook. That's it. That's all he's <laughs> relying on. It's a hook. To show it. Weak ass hook. Yeah, you know, like, take on his ass. Right? At all. If, 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 if uh, Joe Wilson was so so much of a, a a great trainer, fix his his fundamentals. This guy don't have no fundamental at all. All he's relying on is a weak ass hook. That's it. That's all he's relying on is a hook. That's all. That's all he's relying on. Relying on is a hook. No, no defense, no nothing, no footwork, no nut, no head movement. Yo, you, you gotta see no Ryan movement, face no while he's sitting over there saying all nothing. this. <laughs> fundamental at all. All he's relying on is a weak-ass hook. That's it. That's all he's relying on is a hook. That's all. That's all he's relying on is a hook. No defense, no nothing, no footwork, no nut, no head movement. He don't have no head movement, no nothing. He don't have nothing. I'm talking about he's a... Man, get this... Get him out of here. Let me ask you both this. What is this... What is this moment... Hey, man, get him out of here. To you. Get him out of here. Pay-per-view and what should be the biggest went in. fight. You asked for it, yo. He just went in. Ryan, and you think to the sport. Yeah. It's just uh, the biggest moment in sports right now. Take so, it. Uh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. It obviously means a lot. The magnitude of this fight is huge. Yo, Ryan sitting there looking silly, the bro. Like I swear it's funny, though. I like Ryan, though, man. Salute to him, so but it's, this is I'm funny. I'm just ready to go as deep as I can.
that I have to. Facts, Cass. That's it. I mean, this I'm moment is everything Jake, to me. I'm playing with this man. <laughs> Jim. This so many years. He's not getting up, Jim. Here, so, uh, <laughs> Remember? Words can't really describe how He's not getting up, me, Jim. Kirk, uh, Kirk, what's good with it, my bro? How you yeah, feeling, man? Appreciate you pulling up. Hey, you know what's funny about this guy? You He's talking about, oh, you, I, got you spies, ain't got I got this, but every time he talks, though, he ain't shit of a fighter, but he's doing everything you can to figure it out. Yeah. And it makes what, no sense, man. What is he talking all about? All the Judas is in my gym, Listen. all that come, it's not going to stop what's going to happen. It's so sad. Okay. All his silly attempts, I need a rehydration clause. I need a morning at 36. I need this. You I don't need want to You need fight. everything for a are non complete you fight. Not, is a Why, is that? Fight. Why do you need everything for a non complete fight? Are you fight? or are you, you not are, a 135 fight? You're putting your foot in your mouth. Are you or are you not a 135 fighter? Delusional, bro. Stop lying to the people. Bro. Nah, you lying. Cause he on your ass. You just, you just, just talking. To stop it. I'm sorry, man. You can send them all. You want to watch me train tonight? You can. You can come. Your whole team can come watch. He gonna, gonna beat this boy ass, ass, man. Leonard, you want to come? You want to come, Leonard? Go try. You can pay all the people to spy in the camp. It ain't. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You know what I'm. I know exactly what you're doing. Trust and believe. It, isn't it? And the mole is in your camp. Work, man. I trust me, Leonard. You're going to love me after this. You want to be part of my team, Leonard? You want to be part of my team, Leonard? We'll give you all the final, final word. We'll start with you, Ryan Garcia. Zach B, what's good? Hundreds of thousands to the million of people that's going to buy this pay per view. You got a sold out T Mobile Arena that have come to see this super fight. Right. Tell these folks. Final word, right. what they're going to get come Facts, Saturday please. night. Tell him, Tim repeat it. What'd he say? An ass whooping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, he, he got a laugh out of tank Go repeating ahead, it. You got a sold out T-Mobile <laughs> arena that have come to see this super uh, fight. Man, Tell this these folks, funny. Yeah, this was funny, final word, yeah. what they're going to get come Saturday night. This is fun. His ass whooped. <laughs> What'd he say? An ass whooping. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Ryan. I'm gonna leave it at that. All right. It's gonna be an asshole. We shall. Captain Hook is coming. It's a Captain Hook. Okay. I'll give you the final word. Tell these it people. It's too funny to say tell, some shit. Tell know? them what they're gonna get Saturday night. Oh man, I signed a fight, man. It's, I'm excited to be here. Uh, it's gonna be great, man. We got two um guys that's you know. Well, I don't know about him, but I'm coming with some stuff for sure. <laughs> yeah, he said, it's Captain Hook. Start time, <laughs> eight o'clock Eastern. Yeah, five o'clock Pacific time, guy, man. Tank goes Show time, pay per view from T-Mobile Arena here in the fight man, capital of the fun, world. Javante week, Tank man. Davis, fight week, Ryan Garcia. With some stuff. I forget to have a face <laughs> on. <with some> stuff. <laughs> Man, man, this is always. This is gonna be a fun, fun fight, man. It's gonna be a fun fight, fun card, man. I'm gonna enjoy this joint, man. I really am. I'm gonna enjoy this for real, for real. This shot would be fun on my way to the fight now, man. Kurt, salute to you, Kurt, man. Enjoy that, brother. Enjoy drink. that, man. Ain't drink. no energy like that fight, energy, bro. Drink. Enjoy it. Thing is too rich for small, my blood. Man. I'm just a yeah, struggling content small, creator. Yeah. <laughs> big is a little rich for my blood. You got that big at all. You got that weak ass You ain't big at all. You got that weak ass of mercy. You look good. Yo, oh, he roasting him. They roast him. Hold on. You got that. Drain. I'm not drained. You look drained. I'm not. Nah, no, he don't. No tank don't look drained, bro. See, you you milking it, Ryan. He don't look drained, bro. If you think that's you think tank drained, then just keep thinking that. Tank in great shape. We about to smoke your ass. Yeah, I talk about you look drained. Look how tank start gunning him. You scared? You look drained. You look drained. You look drained. You look real drained. I'm not drained. You look drained. I'm not drained. You look small now. Yeah, and you small yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, you oh, feel it now. You ain't, you ain't, yeah. ain't big at all. Yeah. You, got you, ain't big at all. you got that weak ass. You ain't big at all. You got that weak ass. You ain't big at all. You got that weak ass. You look good. You look good. You look good, man. You gonna look good. You look good. You gonna look good with that jaw, bro. I promise you that. I'm gonna break your jaw. Look how small that is. That's big. I got a bigger target. If it's small, you ain't got a target. Think about it. 
Yeah, no defense. defense. Cameras up top. No right. defense. And, and, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and you're delusional of your defense. Cameras up top yeah, okay. in the back. My defense way better than yours. They're gonna see. They got to see. Right, here. Right, here. Right, here. right, Josh. She getting cooked. Right in the middle, third row, guys. Yeah, Kurt, man, enjoy that joint, bro. Enjoy it. Right. Gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> He's right. Ryan gonna get his ass shot, kicked. Guys. He's, he's the one that's, right. that's the uh, distraction right there, your brother, <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put you to sleep for sure. That's the advisor right there, right? That's the advisor right there? Oh, yeah, that's the one be calling out, huh? Good, that's good. the one to be calling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the advisor right there, right? He's, he's the one that's, that's the uh, distraction right there, your brother, right there. Yeah. I'll put you to sleep for sure. <laughs> that's the advisor right there, right? That's the advisor right there. Oh yeah, that's the one be calling out, huh? He threatened physical right harm to his brother. I ain't gonna get his ass kicked. Oh man. Facts, Will. Gonna get his ass kicked. King Ryan gonna get his ass kicked. He's, he's the one that's, that's the uh, distraction right there, your brother, right there. Yeah. I'll put you to sleep for sure. That's the advisor right there, right? That's the advisor right there? Oh, yeah, that's the one to be calling out, huh? That's the one to be calling out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. He said you the distraction right there. He's, he's the one that's, that's the uh, distraction right there, your brother, right there. Yeah. I'll put you to sleep for sure. That's the advisor right there, right? That's the advisor right there. Man, I got to clip some of these sound bites. I got to clip some of these sound bites, bro. God. He's the one that's the distraction right there, your brother, right there. Yeah. I'll put you to sleep for sure. That's the advisor right there, right? That's the advisor right there? Oh yeah, that's he's the one we call out. Huh? He's talking that's the one to all, call out. Oh, yeah, Ryan yeah. team. Yeah, I'm not even talking to you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy our interviews now, guys. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, everybody. I gotta get the sound bites, yo. <laughs> Take crazy, man. He funny as hell. He said, "Yeah, yeah right." He the distraction Thank you everybody. right there. Javante Davis, brother. King Ryan <laughs> Garcia, Saturday sure. night, Showtime pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the money, television. We need it. Show me It was somebody else on Ryan team. I couldn't tell. They ain't had a camera on it, but he told somebody else. As you saw there, the tension's high on the stage inside the car theater <laughs> at the MGM Grand oh, on the man. Strip in Las Vegas. You can't Ryan say Campbell, this at least Hawani, fun. And Captain Jack. It's at least Jack funny, Jack. man. It's, that that was fun, man. That was fun a little bit, man. That was not a lot of it. That was fun, man. Matter of fact, yo. I mean, Drew saying right with it. While this says the point will be sleep right there. <laughs> right, right, teach. It's good. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait. I was watching it before. Yeah, this is going to be fun, man. This was fun. Yo, it was fun. That's why I say, yo, I'll try to bring the entertainment back, man. That's why I'm glad y'all brought this up so I could go play it, man. Even though we... You know, I ain't screen share, so they ain't copyright me. I just wanted to play the audio. And it still was funny, y'all. The only thing that made it funnier just seeing they faces, Ryan face while Tank was telling him how he ain't got no foot movement, no defense, no nothing. <laughs> it was like, no nothing, yo. <laughs> He's sitting there looking silly, man. This is funny, man. Ryan Garcia is a funny dude. He said he got Tank at six. Right, I feel you, man. Yeah, Ash, this was funny, man. Ryan is done for. I'm telling you, man, he gonna make it f f entertaining. But he going he going night night. He taking a nap, bro. Told my tank look drained. He looks small. Like boy, that's cause he is shape. That's what you see. <laughs> that's the crazy part. You don't even realize that the dude is in front of you is in some of the best shape in his life. It ain't nothing to do with no small or he look drained. No, he in great shape. That's You don't even recognize what's in front of you. I'm not even trying to be funny on a serious note. The fact that you think he drained or unless you just saying it just to be saying stuff, man, you about to get smoked, bro. He about to beat your ass, man. He about to really beat you up in there, bro. That man about to do some things to you, man. I'm telling you. You about to do some things to you. You about to do some strange things to you for a piece of change. I'm telling you. 
Only one that was calm was Joe Goose. I'm telling you, he doesn't care now. Joe don't care at all, man. <laughs> he don't care. He like, I'm just, you know, I'm just a face. You know, if I if I if he win, I get some credit. If he loses, it's like, oh well, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? He'll say I didn't train him. I collab I collaborated with him. Ash, that's what he gonna say. <laughs> he gonna say he ain't trained him anyway. He just collaborated with him. Everything is important, but I would say Ryan might get dropped second round. I'm telling you, Faye, he might get he might get something real bad done to him. For real. It's gonna happen to Ryan. Yeah, that's why he ain't that's why he's saying stuff like him, hey, you don't train him. He the one with the ideas. Oh, that's what that's about. I just figured it out. That's why he said that. Ah, right, Joe Goosen, you slick dog, you. You slick dog, bro. You slick dog, Joe Goose and you. That's why you said that, bro. Ah, I get it now. I get it. Okay. Now it's all starting to make sense now. Okay, hold on. You know I gotta pull this up. Nah, Joe. You got some you got some splaining to do, Joe. You got some splaining to do. I caught on to it. I just caught on. It just dawned on me just now on this stream. I know why you're talking like that, Joseph. That's crazy, Joseph. You throwing your fighter under the bus like that, Joseph. That's wild, man. Damn, Joseph. This dude shot out, bro. Now I got it, y'all. I know what Joseph was doing, y'all. I know it. I know why he said this. That's why he's so calm and cool and collected. He don't really get no damn him, man. Joe is cool. Him, he ain't worried about a thing. This is why he said this, y'all. You don't necessarily train Ryan Garcia. You have to collaborate with him because he has the ideas and the thoughts. And they ring true 99% of the time. Davis Garcia. Hashtag Davis Garcia. So this is why you're saying it. So when he lose, it ain't your fault. You like, look, I just collaborated with him. He he has the ideas in there. This is why, this is why you said, because I ain't never heard nothing bogus like this before. This is why you said that. Okay, got you, Joe. I got you. I know it was a, they had to decipher it a little bit, but now it's all coming to me now. Now, <laughs> now it makes sense. Now we got you, Joe. This is why he said this. You don't necessarily train with Ryan Garcia. You got to collaborate. I ain't never heard nothing like that before. What are you talking about, dude? You training him. He need a trainer. What are you talking? He don't need a collaborator, bro. This ain't Instagram. He do fine. I don't know if you checked his stats. His Instagram and his social media posts do fine. He damn sure don't need no collaborator. This dude need a trainer. You talking about you collaborating with him? And you bogus as hell, bro. I can't. I just thought I was about to let you off the hook. I knew this was weird when I heard it, but now it's starting to make sense. You just basically detached yourself from. from you going to get the credit if y'all was to win, right? But it's like if you lose, you like, hey, man, I just collaborate. I didn't even train him. You know, he has the ideas in there. He has the ideas and the thoughts. I ain't never heard nobody say nothing like that. I ain't never heard nobody say nothing like that. That's wild. I ain't never heard nobody say nothing like that. Joe playing the game. He's just a player. Yeah, I ain't never hear him say nothing like that. No titles on the line. King Ryan Garcia will still be undefeated. <laughs> Salute to you, uh, uh, Anaheim 69, man. Look, he, he could. He could put. Oh nah, he, you know you gotta uh now y'all know if I have Adam now I ain't see the last part, I ain't see the last part. He said this, yo man, Luzi, yo he helped Ryan win. It's his game plan, right? Big credit with no risk at his right. It's no risk for him, right? A one, right? I I heard people saying it, but it's different when you looking at it, right? And you just get to assess it, like yo, what's up, man? Man, he basically saying like you know what I'm saying. He's saying it, yo. He's saying it. Man, he is. He is. Well, it is. It's crazy. But in, in, in a serious note, he need a trainer, not a collaborator. Like, I ain't being crazy when I say that. He don't need no collaborator, bro. This dude obviously need a trainer. He a young, 
24 year old fighter you telling me he don't need no trainer he don't need no damn collaborator man you sound crazy you need to be having the ideas and the thoughts in the ring your ideas and your thoughts need to ring ring true you get what i'm saying i think that's a bit weird i ain't never heard nothing like that before that's different I would like to know what other trainers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Damn, man. I would like to know what other trainers think about this. Like, I ain't never heard this before, bro. I ain't never heard it before. I ain't never heard nothing like that before. Absolutely not. They they be in the studio, not the gym. <laughs> right, guys. So, right. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, man. Shakur special. You already know. You know, he trying to absolve himself. Yeah, he is, B Dog. He is. As long as he get paid, I guess. Right, bro. That's all he care about. That. Yeah, hey, when that's, that's, that joint is crazy when you actually look at it, bro. Trying to help Ryan, but Ryan doesn't listen. Right. I honestly never seen Joe train, to be honest. Man, he said, dude, the bike assassins and where we <laughs> Dirt nappage. She going to be taking the dirt nappage, bro. Facts are paid for. Your expertise, not the other way around. You, Yo, B-Dog. And again... If anybody is taking this as slighting Ryan or hating, that's weird energy, bro. Cause they we he literally saying some weird stuff. Like you, you it's it basically what you're saying here is you just go in there and help out. You just helping him a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? You collab and you're like, yeah, you, you what what? He he got the ideas and and, and and the thoughts. You just basically there. Oh man, that's weird, man. So he the captain of the yacht. You just on the boat. Cool, that make a lot of sense. So what's the point of it? So no one, it's no wonder he's training three days with you and then four days by himself, right? So you can't make this stuff up, yo. They crazy, man. B dog, they crazy. I train the teacher Ryan. Anything Ryan still keeping his chin in there, right? And you see what that's why Tank said what he said. He's such a great trainer, man. They tell him to fix your fundamentals. Like dude don't got no fundamentals. <laughs> Tank was on his helmet. No fundamentals or nothing. This is what I'm saying, David. You get what I'm saying, bro? It ain't like we and we, this is no diss. I gotta be clear because people be sensitive and they misinterpret stuff. This is no diss. Like we laugh, we joke about this stuff, but just on a more serious note, I have never heard a trainer speak this way, especially in a fight of this magnitude. This is Ryan. This is the biggest fight of Ryan's career. And 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 his head trainer is not talking about training him, he's talking about collaborating with him. That's not an issue. I ain't never heard of nothing like that before. My not, not, not in the years I've been watching no boxing, yo. Collab with him. Like he ain't old an old fighter that I don't even know. I don't think at no point that should be the case. I think at any point, if you a trainer, train, teach, collaborate. That, 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 that that's a poor choice of words, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But nah, he meant what he said. Because not only did he say collaborate, he said with him because. He has the ideas and the thoughts. He do. And he basically saying they ring true 99% of the time. He's saying he he wins with the way what, what he's doing. So I'm going to just go in there and collaborate with him, work with him some. Nah, that's that's weak. That's weak, Joe. That's weak. Facts, Ash. You know it. Generational wealth. Tank equals generational wealth. Right. And a nap. And a nap. And a nap, too, Ash. And then nap and against your will too. If you want to fight it, it'd be against your will. <laughs> nap and generational wealth. <laughs> oh man. I'm just reading the magazine. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Well, it's gonna be good. They all gonna eat. Keep up the great work, Ryan. Yeah, keep training yourself, Ryan. I ain't even mad at you, bro. I ain't even mad at you. I had no idea that your trainer wasn't training, bro. But this this statement right here says everything. That's bogus too, Joe. You ought to be ashamed of yourself too, Joe. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not even trying to be funny, Joe. That's utterly disrespectful, family. Be careful. Be careful, baby. You're doing a great job. Yeah, man, just do what you think about Canelo's team saying Ryan training and then put it together with, with Joseph. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's what I was saying. Well, um, I just think, look, this dude has talent, right? Ryan Garcia, he would never, like, despite if people feel like he deserve a shot at Tank Davis, he is a talented fighter. He is a talented fighter. He really is. Now, how skilled he is is a different that's a different question. 
But is he talented? Yes. Is he without skill? No, he's not without skill. He's not a bum, right? But like like what you're saying, Will, like you mix with what, what Canelo said, with what, what you got going on with Joe Goosen, and you essentially got a guy that's training himself, and you hear lack of commitment there because you don't have no structure. So you work out when you want, you show up when you want, you hit the bag when you want, you take pictures all the time when you want. You get what I'm saying? You don't have no real structure, no real direction. You you essentially out there just doing it your way. And you putting in the minimal amount of work, but you're getting a decent result. I mean, you're obviously working out, right? You staying fit to, to some degree. You in fight shape when it's time to fight and all those things, right? But I think I don't think you live the fighter's lifestyle. You get what I'm saying? I don't think outside the ring and then on top of that, I just hear a lack of commitment. And because of those things, I think those things lose you to fight before you even get to the X's and O's about what you do good and what you do bad. And then you mix that with the mental approach and him just not being mentally prepared for what's in front of him and just not, I don't think he'll he'll understand the moment in the way that he needs to. It's a lot of stuff and little factors that play into this that people are not even taking into account. Like number one, the most obvious, the stage that he's fighting on. He ain't never fought on no stage like this, but people just ignoring that. Ah, it's King Rod, King Rod. He's going to knock Tank out. Left hook, left hook. He's going to knock him out. Left hook. Like, shut up, man. Shut up. He's going to have to do more than that, bro. He's going to need more than just his left hook. He's going to have to bring something. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no just be no left hook. I don't, I, I just don't can't see that, bro. He's going to have to really go in his bag. And my thing is, I think his bag of tools is very limited. It's a very limited bag of tools. He has a bag of tools, but they're very limited. You don't have a lot of, and they're not sure. A lot of them, man, he got tools in there, but they ain't sharp. They're not all sharp. You know what I'm saying? He got a couple of dough joints in there, a couple of butter knives in, in, the, in the drawer. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you 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 know how you, you, you see uh, uh, Anaheim, you can't, you saying like, I don't know, weird stuff like blacks and black assassins. and not about being soft. It's about respect you can't say nothing about disrespect when you being disrespectful nobody makes nothing about the race of ryan garcia we might make jokes about ryan garcia but i even make jokes about tank that you can't come in here talking about black assassins and y'all blacks that's disrespectful bro that's not boxing we don't do that in here you know what i mean you gotta find somewhere where where they allow that type of rhetoric we don't do that over here for a reason you know what i'm saying we build over here if you and you part of the conversation you consider to be family, but family don't talk like what you talk like. So you got to be mindful with the stuff that you're saying. And you lucky they only timed you out. They could have just blocked you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be mindful what you typing in the chat, bro. Just heard the trainer Sugar Hill say Tyson Fury was never training for Usa. So that means they knew. Yeah, facts, fate. They knew that fight was never happening, bro. They knew that fight was never happening. Like, so playing on cool beating the girl that got knocked. For 10 million dollars. <laughs> right. Core, what's good with it, my bro? What's good with it, Brody? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. I think Ryan overconfident. And you know what's crazy? Not only is he overconfident, bro, he is blind confidence as well because he's not even putting in the necessary work to even be that confident. You get what I'm saying? So I, I just don't know where his confidence come from. You know what I mean, and and again, you, you know, you try to be a little slick with the wordplay. I really don't care. I just know what the intent of your words are, dude. You want to be want to be mindful when you come in here doing that, cause we don't play like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't understand. I would never understand, y'all. As I would assume, you have to be a dope, cause my content ain't for kids, right? But I would never understand why y'all come and people chats and troll. You don't like the content, just vanish. It's millions of people to go ch- tune into, and it's people that let that type of stuff ride. Like, I, if I wanted to be funny, I could throw a name out there and tell you a channel that would be very cool with you coming through saying stuff like that. And they probably think it's funny. So, but this ain't one of them, bro. So, you want to be sm- smarter with that. And this is me. This is the calm side of me, like letting you live a little bit. So, you, you want to be smart with that, bro. Is Ryan's major flaws in defense? So why isn't Goosen working on his flaws? Yeah, he's too busy collaborating with him. Like Ash said, they making a mixtape. <laughs> they call the shots. Why is Joe even there? A check at this point, and now we say it's for a check, bro. Yeah, 
appreciate you, Johnny. Appreciate you catching on. You know what I mean? These dudes be weird, man. Drew, what's good with it, Drew? What's good with it? Facts, though, Will. So it's safe to say he coming here for a check. Oh, I right, bet. Got you. Got you. Got you, Mike. And you know, he don't serve, he don't add no value to the to the to the conversation or chat. So he could be right up out of here. Man, to hell with him. Yeah, man. Um, Joe Goosen say safe to say he clearly coming for a check, bro. Big text, what's happening with it, family? What's good with you, bro? And uh, yeah, man, it gotta be. It's just a check at this point. You collab, you collab, and you're gonna go get you a little check for your collaboration, <laughs> and you're gonna go about your business. Appreciate you, D man. Appreciate you. And you see, I still try to be reasonable with 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 people. You know why? Because I know that sometimes people are immature and they just be testing the water. Sometimes, you know, people be teetering on that ledge, and you could kind of talk them up off it. But then sometimes they be on the ledge and they just jump. You know what I'm saying? And he might have just jumped. Whether he jumped or not, y'all got him. So the hell with him. But yeah, man. Joe Goosen might just really be showing up for the check, to be honest with you. And that's not going to be good for Ryan Garcia, man. And he he he, uh, he need schooling. He need teaching. He needs to work on fundamentals. He need to be sharpened up. And now, the more I think about it, and, and I look at this quote that he made, and then you look at, the open media workout and how he was hitting the pads, how he looked stiff on the pads. He looked like uncomfortable. He looked like he was trying to do something for the cameras. And now just looking at it now, I think that's what played into the, the very, very short amount of time that he worked out. I just don't think he was cool with even working out like that in front of people and for that long. Like that's why he did a little bit and then went and ate tacos and tried to entertain people with his story because he wasn't, you get what I'm saying? He he couldn't sell you or nothing. He didn't do anything. He just showed up for nothing. And people kind of take the bait. And you notice there ain't no stories and no headlines about that. But when Tank come late, everybody know it, right? Everybody know when Tank come late. But this dude go work out for five minutes and then go eat tacos. Y'all act like it's a regular day in the office. That's a waste of all y'all's time. Y'all came there to take pictures and watch this dude. Now I mean, film this dude working out and kind of potentially use that to get fueled and, and, and motivated to want to see the fight, get you in the mood and look, it don't do it. You get what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean, it, 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 he's, he's just, I don't know, man. You kind of pissing on the opportunity that's, that's in front of him just by lack of commitment. Like you, you getting out there and he's saying all the right stuff, but again, you just eating it up. It's not hard to talk. You get what I'm saying? It's not hard to talk a good game, but, it's, it's different to be fully committed and actually putting in the work that you say you're putting in. And I don't think you're doing that. I don't think you're doing it, bro. I don't think you're doing it. So, again, man, it's before you even get there. It's preparation and, and mentality that is going to cost you to fight, I think, before you even wear, get to anything physical, before you even get to the, the your speed or your left hook or tank's power or whatever, is, or even his boxing ability. Like, before you even get to those things, the fight could be potentially lost for you because of lack of commitment, which means lack of preparation. You get what I'm saying? And, and you just not being ready for the moment like that. Those are bad. That's bad for you. And that's before you even get in the ring, bro. Not being prepared, not mentally knowing what's in front of you and, and how to deal with it. Like I'm telling you, man, and I said this before, it might settle in. It's all look. Like some people passing off of what he's saying is confidence, right? Some people feel like that's confidence and stuff like that, right? Salute to everybody in the building. Appreciate y'all booting the ignorance up out of here, man. So we go appreciate you, Fate. Appreciate you, my bro. He tested the water with shark in it, right? Right. So and then he gonna get he gonna see how just just how much different that some shark infested waters is too, D man. Again, I like I, I rock with Ryan, man. He can talk all the junk and be silly as he wants. He still seems like a good kid, good fighter, but he just ain't a committed fighter, and that's going to cost him. So, again, he's committed to the talking trash and the showing up and the press conferences and going back and forth. All those things are fun for him. But I, like, I, like I've been saying all week, you know, the date is coming. You know what I'm saying? It's fight week all week, and we ain't got long, man. We got a couple more days to see this fight. So we'll see what happens in between now. And then, you know, because we got one more day. And like I said, once Haney fight comes, I'm going to um, 
you know, be be speaking on it all throughout that week. You know what I'm saying? And make sure we just keep remembering. Hopefully, they continue to give us content, like some good back and forth where I could keep bringing the fight up throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, this one is going to be fun. And on top of that, not just with the main event, we got David Morrell saying, like, you know, after this fight, which is he's a co-main event, he's saying, look, he won um, – he want David Benavidez. No more excuses, no nothing. Like, he wants smoke. Bro wants smoke with David B. So, we're going to see, man. We're going to see. But that I, that's definitely a fight we need. And the fact that he sounded adamant about it, I hope he really pushed for it. And I don't think his team going to get – I hope that they don't – I hope everybody's on the same accord because that's a much-needed fight. Because I don't know exactly where David Benavidez goes after this point because he ain't going to – Canelo not giving him a shot. He just fought back in March, right? You figure Morrell fight now. If he beat this guy the way he's anticipating and take minimal damage, he'll be right back in the ring in a few months. So I don't see why that fight, that fight is more than possible to happen. And the fact that Morrell is putting out statements and, and doubling down that he wants this fight, no excuses, no nothing. He want to fight. Like, and that's, that's just what it is. And that's the energy you want. From a young fighter, he willing to get in there already and prove it against David Benavidez. And I promise you, I want to see it. Whether it's a win, loss, or a draw for him, I need to see that. Rolling with the punches was good, family. How you feeling? Yeah, fate. I got you, bro. Appreciate you too, man. Appreciate you. Bro, seem like you said middleweight and under four fights. He want to end him belt right quick as hell. Denny, he won that, but he won that interim joint super quick, and and he he just a terror man. He's just a different talent man. That's why I say his learning co curve was different than most fighters, man. And he already in a in a prime position, man, to really make some damage. Like just think about it. If he win this fight here, which I believe he should and he will, he goes to nine and zero. Say he doing in spectacular fashion, and at nine and zero, you get a fight with David Benavidez. Come on, man, you can't tell me he ain't winning. He in a very good position. He's dangerous because I said this before. He's a different fighter than Caleb Plant, right? But he's a hell of a boxer with a full tank of gas. And many of the things that Caleb Plant was able to do well and successful against David Benavidez, David Morrell can, you know, duplicate those same things and do it with a full tank of gas without running out of gas. So I think that's a real good fight for him. Um, boxing and for both fighters and it's a real test for Benavidez ready for the pros even when he was green right right fate I'm telling you haha <laughs> oh, your friend he's on David Sayings <laughs> like green don't exist for him right it don't it don't fate and he's just a special talent and again man He's always, he's just been one of them ones. He's been challenged the right way. He's been moved a certain way. He's been, like, tested accordingly. I told people, man, his 8-0, and no, his 8-0, and no, his first eight fights is, is shitting on dudes' first 20 or more fights, bro. And that's a fact. His first eight fights is, is trumping dudes' first 15 to 20 or more fights. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It was crazy to me. Like, and he definitely is the prime example of uh, quality over quantity. He ain't got a ton of fights, but they're quality. He ain't fought no guys with a losing record. And that's another thing too. When I be when I be making assessments, because I remember somebody was saying something about Shakur not fighting nobody in twenty fights. I think if I'm not mistaken, I went up and down his resume. I don't even think he ever fought a fighter with a losing record. Just think about that. I don't think he's ever even fought a guy with a losing record. But people say he fought absolutely nobody. That stuff like that matter, man. Dudes, he ain't got no 22 and 60 or no, what? what is it? Would it be uh, 10 and 34? You know what I mean? 10 wins, 34 losses or five wins and 68 losses. Like he ain't got none of that. He got quality on the resume. I'm trying to tell you since he, since he hit the ground. You need more Benavidez and Morel mentalities. Now you do, right? Because Benavidez, despite what some people say about him, I believe he'll fight whoever. I think David Morel got that same energy. 
So facts though, fate. We do need that because that'll equal more fights, more great fights. Yeah, we got retired at some point, then let the fame get to his head and the belts weren't meant for him. Right. The belts was a gift and a curse for Tia Fimo. So you got the Mexican monster. The B. David Morales, you do? At this moment hasn't matured yet when he won them belts. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, Cora. I, I, I'm telling you, man. I just, it's a real 50 50 fight, right? Nah, I never just slight, light or slight or just count out um, Benavidez, right? But, um, man, salute to my dog, man. My bro, man. Rip, 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 Rip Jones in that um, cash hat, man. Showing love as always. Rip, where you at, bro? Much love and appreciation. And man. we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Salute to my bro Rip, man. Salute to Rip, man. How you salute to you, buddy. DP Rocker was good, family. How you feeling, yo? Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Dave, like back to I was saying, David Morrell, he really could do a lot of those things, man. That um, Benavidez struggles against and a lot of the things that Caleb Plant was able to do in there. So, salute to you, Rip, man. Much love and appreciation, bro. Always holding your boy down, man. Got Morel by counters. His defense is more than for Ben style, ready to catch for when he pressure. I'm telling you, man, it's it, it's the style-wise, man. Style-wise fate. I think Morel will make him earn it. My boy Benavidez is a dog. Yeah, he is a dog. I just think that the biggest issue for me is I know I noticed like when Caleb Plant had a full tank of gas, right? This was something that was interesting to me. When Caleb Plant looked like he had a full tank of gas, we know on paper the fight is 50-50, right? We all agree that that's real, true 50-50. That's the example and epitome of a 50-50 fight, right? Plant Benavidez. But when they both had – a full tank of gas, like you get what I'm saying? And then that first half of fight, why did he know that Caleb Plant was still able to maneuver and move around, give him lateral movement, and stab him to the body, and, you know, counter him and slip shots and make him miss? The fight wasn't playing out like a 50 50 fight. Respectfully, it wasn't. Because what I'm saying to y'all is if Caleb Plant duplicated what he did in the first half and the second half of the fight, like, if he was able to put the same amount of rounds in the bank in the second half of the fight like he did in the first, that fight would almost look like a wash, if y'all get what I'm saying. Just think about what I'm saying. We know on paper it's a 50-50 fight. By what? But when both guys had stamina and gas still in their tanks, you get what I'm saying? You figure the fight, that's where the fight would be the closest. No. It was separation there. It was a considerable amount of separation in, in, in boxing ability to me. And Caleb Plant was able to pile or kind of put that rounds in a bank to me. Like he controlled that first part of the fight to me. The first half of the fight was a Caleb Plant rant fight. That's why I said it's a tell of two halves. You can't, it's not nothing to, to, to crap on, but if you're really trying to really assess it, you have to acknowledge that. When he had gas in his tank, he made the fight not play out 50-50. It wasn't like you went around, I went around. You went around, I... No, he was putting them rounds together. So it looked like... And then, then again, it just follow me. David Benavidez didn't start looking like David Benavidez until C Caleb Plant ran out of gas. That's when you started seeing Benavidez look somewhat like Benavidez. Up until that point, bro, it was like, yo... Caleb Plant, that's all you kept thinking in your mind, yo. Caleb Plant don't get tired. Yo, if he don't get tired, if he don't get tired, yo. And that's all I'm saying. And that's that's the most honest assessment I can give. He still won the fight. You get what I'm saying? He, he wasn't robbed. Nobody was robbed. You get what I'm saying? Caleb Plant did his thing. He finished strong. You get what I'm saying? And it's not how you start. It's how you finish. And, you know, Benavidez finished strong. He was able to steal the fight, win the championship rounds, and, and win a close fight. But... I'm telling you, that's very concerning for me that when when he had gas still in the tank and wasn't running on fumes, you couldn't box with him as well as I, I, I some people imagined you would have been able to do. You couldn't do it. You struggled. So it's like, yo, David Morrell is younger. He got more pop on his punches. He a little, he more mean in there. He punched on, he used different angles. 
He got great foot movement. He's comfortable in every part of the ring. He got with he come with a full tank of gas. You get what I'm saying? It's a ton of things like yo and the things that he can do. He can start a pace and he can keep up with it for the whole fight. You're not you if he controls the first part of a fight the way Caleb Plant did. It's gonna be fight over for you because you're not gonna just all of a sudden he get tired and you're gonna come. That's not gonna happen with a David Morrell. That's my biggest issue for Benavidez. When it was a boxing match and he had gas, you couldn't box with him. You couldn't box with him the way I you I felt like you were supposed to. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? Styles may fight. I haven't seen Ben switch up his style at all. Look, he looked, he didn't look. Yeah, he just right. Yo, fate, no disrespect, fate. It's a lot of work. He need a lot of work if you really being honest. We talking about the absolute upper echelon. Caleb Plant with a full tank of gas, in my humble opinion, wins that fight, and it's an 8-4 type of deal. He doesn't get tired. That's an 8-4 win for Caleb Plant, in my opinion. That is concerning for the when you have a guy that you're talking about competing at the elite level, the top level. That's a little concern for me, bro. He wasn't going to be able to do it in the second half. I know he did so well in that first half that he just shot. He just blew, he couldn't keep up. So he's there on the string. I was just looking at <laughs> facts. Nah, you can tear his ass up, man. Man, tear him up. <laughs> right. He showed me not getting knocked out. Yeah, he showed he had plenty, ton of dog, ton of dog, a whole lot of ifs. The ifs that David forced his ass to fight like Caleb and did made him burn out. Caleb. Not being prepared for that hurting David to make David respect him. He saw David forced his ass to fight like Caleb. He made him burn out. Caleb Fall was not being prepared for that hurting David to make David respect him. Yeah, um, Carol, what's good with it, bro? Um, for me, I'm trying to see how I could uh, respond. Are you saying, um, David forced his ass to fight like, oh, you saying David forced him to fight like him? I mean, to me, I just think he gassed. I think that fight doesn't, I think that's a guaranteed loss for David Benavidez if Caleb Plant didn't slow down. I don't think that, I don't think the pressure was effective until he got tired. You get what I'm saying now? You could say him getting tired is a result of the constant pressure, right? But at the same time, I know a ton of fighters that even with the amount of pressure that he was applying, they wouldn't be gassed at the way Caleb Plant was like, or I don't want to say gassed, fatigued down the stretch the way he was. You get what I'm saying? I feel like David Morrell has a full tank of gas. And he the, those same things that, you know, he was able to, you know, Caleb Plant was able to implement and do it well against uh, Benavidez, I feel like Morel will be able to do those things with more umph behind those punches. You get what I'm saying? I think he'll he'll have some more, you know, you know, sting behind them joints. That if David Morel can make those adjustments that he's been able to make against other competition, he's in on a plant of Benavidez gas unless you're being pressured to burn through your gas tank, though. Yeah, but I, I get it. Uh, so you got to attribute some of the, the 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 fatigue to the constant pressure, right? But I just don't think the pressure was all that effective. I think it was Caleb Plant doing more moving than moving. And, uh, and you know the moving Caleb Plant doing, right? I think it was him just doing a whole lot of moving than uh, Benavidez's pressure being effective. For me, that's how I look at it because his pressure didn't become a, a thing until a guy started to fatigue. You get what I'm saying? And even though you want to attribute him fatiguing to the pressure, it's still like, when you was doing it, it wasn't effective pressure until you got tired. So it was like, I have a concern because my thing is, we we know Caleb Plant slows down in the back half of fights. We've seen it at least three or four times, right? So, you know, with, with even with or without the David Benavidez type of pressure, he had a real good chance of slowing down down the stretch. You get what I'm saying? You've seen him do it before. Now you add the mix that, like you're saying, the pressure is a part of the fight because he is constantly on him. But I just felt like it was so ineffective. And I felt like he was following him around a lot. And I felt like Caleb Plant was going to get tired because he was doing a lot of moving. It was great movement. It was great. It was beautiful foot footwork and slipping punches. Remember, he was confident. Remember, he was talking a little early. He was in his bag. Caleb Plant was feeling good until that wall kicked in, bro. <laughs> that wall kicked in. He slowed down. He's like, oh, oh, Benavidez start. Next thing you know, Benavidez now, his pressure becomes more effective. 
now has cutting off the ring instead of him following it and looking frustrated how he was showing early in the fight he not like that no more so now he like he got a second win and i did see david benavidez look more tired in this fight than i ever seen and but what he got a second win that's the difference caleb plant never got a second win when he got tired he stayed tired benavidez got tired in some spots caught a second win and went back to work that's the difference with having great conditioning he's human but he, he you again catching a second win is not a bad thing that's a good thing he caught his second win and instead of him allowing Caleb Plant to hold him as much as he was earlier in spots. He was fighting in them clinches, doing more damage. And I think it still was an elbow or an elbow or head, but elbow, one of them that caused the cut on Caleb too. And it just started going downhill from there, man. Still, but I, I definitely get you, A1. Definitely. The pressure is a, you know, a byproduct of, you know, or the fatigue is a byproduct of him being pressured. So I do get that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I expect, I expected the pressure to be more effective. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, he really was following him around the ring. Remember at one point, he pointed at the ring like, yo, stand still. He pointed to the ground. I'm like, ah, oh, don't do that. You showing frustration, bro, You because he won't sit still. And that's how you knew at that point in the fight, he definitely was losing. When he did that, he was still losing, and Caleb Plant still had enough gas to move around. Like, you get what I'm saying? But it's like, he hit that wall, and, 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 and uh, Benavidez caught his second win and went to work, bro. And yeah, kept turning him. Right, right. Until he just, that, that energy, man, that energy was sapped and he couldn't do nothing else. It's like he got that bad, he be in shape, right? Uh, Will, he be ripped up and all types of stuff, bro. And he just hit, he hit a wall and get tired, bro. It's crazy. Depends on gym work for his cardio instead of road work. Oh, you wonder. Now, he, he, he hit the road. He do road work. He do road work. He just, I don't know, it got to be like genetics, they say, right? It's just because he be, he got every muscle you could possibly need. He be in the shape, right? But it's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know. He just get tired. I think he do so much moving, yo, in the early parts of fights that he's just bound to get tired down the stretch, bro. I think that if that makes sense, y'all, I think he does so well in the first part of fights. You got to think, just go back to the fight. Look how much moving he, he does. And he's fighting back. He's being successful fighting and you taking some shots. It's it's energy. It's sapping. You know what I'm saying? His style is very sapping. It's crazy because, you know, what I understand is not everybody would have had that same level of uh, relentlessness and resilience that David Benavidez had, right? Some people that had plant jumped out on him that early like that in a typical fight, he would beat them. But this this is a perfect example of styles make fights, right? Because Benavidez is the exact con the worst style to kind of be in there against if you get tired in the back half of fights. Because some say he gets stronger as the fight go, right? He gets stronger in the back end of fights, or he do better in the back half of fights, right? You know what I'm saying? So you you figure you mix those two things in, it's just a bad style matchup at the end of the day. Cause you eventually get tired. This guy keeps coming. He eventually catches up to you. That's what ended up happening. Credit to Caleb Plant for not getting knocked out, though, man. Because uh, David Benny was bringing it, man. He was bringing it. He was bringing it, man. Salute the son of God, man. Appreciate you, bro. Oxen was only six rounds. Plant might be the best fighter at 168. Little King, I'm telling you, Johnny Q. You get what I'm saying, bro? After that six, he'd be like, ah. <laughs> Back to progression first. Um, versus, I'll say this because I feel like um, that you know it was ineffective because he showed you in spots like he, he was just following them right and he wasn't really closing a gap and, and it him his 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 aggression was ineffective because it didn't put him in a position to land shots with any consistency in the first first half of the fight his offense was he he, he landed and he had some offense but it was never consistent whereas you could see the, the the switch it flipped as Caleb Plant got tired now, instead of him looking like he was following him around the ring, now he's actually cutting off the ring and he's getting to him closer and he's putting himself in position to land more shots. That's how you could see how effective the aggression was in the second half as opposed to the first half. You could see it in the first half. It was just ineffective because even at one point, like I said, he pointed to the ground like he indicated, yo, sit still, stop moving so much. That lets you know he wasn't comfortable with what was going on. And he was doing a lot of following him around the ring. But once he seemed like Caleb got tired, 
It's like he caught his second win, like I said. So now that following becomes actually cutting the ring off. Now you're not looking like you following him. Now you're getting closer to him faster. And when you get there, you're able to mount a more a more consistent offense. And it's way easier to judge. It was like a tell of two halves. You clearly lost the first half because your, your aggression was ineffective. But the good thing about it is it's 12 rounds in a fight. So even though you, you didn't look particularly good in the first six or so, you still had another six to go where you did look better because he got tired and you got stronger. You know what I'm saying? And you're, you're following around turn to you actually cutting the ring off now because he ain't he ain't got the gas tank to give you the same amount of lateral movement that he was doing in the first part of the fight. So that's advantage you now. And all you got to do is keep keep doing what you're doing. Now when you're getting in front of him, unlike the first half of the fight, you're able to mount more of a consistent offense that's a lot easier for the judges to see. And it was, so it was like easy to see who won which part of the fight. You know what I'm saying? It was easy. It was fun. It was a fun fight to watch though. Not me. On the boo-boo in the works, sounds like source hot, fight hype. Oh, yeah? I would love to see that, bro. I have to say them head buns after a lot of his energy. It did, D-Man. You seen the di difference. It did. It did. And another thing is uh, all that muscles after his cardio. Right. Muscle, too. It could be. Could be. And I think he naturally a little chiseled. I don't think he tried to, like, get big. Because you listen to Brad, man, that's not something they did. They ain't, like, work on weights to try to get big. And I think Caleb just be ripped up, bro. Of course, salute to my bro, man. Salute to my bro, man. Putting that color in the chat, man. Much love and appreciation to the bro, man. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I, I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Salute to my bro, core man. Much love and appreciation, man. That's kind of what I was talking about. Plan. Oh yeah, yeah. Muscles zapping his cardio, right? Yeah, I don't think he um. You say he got a lot of muscle, right? I, it's because I was hearing people say that. Yeah, I don't think he tried to intentionally get big or nothing like that. I just think he, you know, he has that muscle on him naturally. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he could do differently in that area. I just, it, it's hard to explain what would make the man get tired the way he do, because he look like he'd be in the best physical shape possible, don't he? He's dealing with a little injury. Happened in June. That's the mission. Just don't give a. Uh, yeah, man. So hopefully it do, man. I, I want to see it, uh, uh, Ghost. I love to see it. Salute to Will, man. Will, you old school, man. But right, man. You make a good point. You know that muscles burn uh, oxygen for sure. And that's never a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you put it on any added muscle, though. You know what I'm saying? Moving up, man. That's interesting, too, though. Ghost never thought about that, though. Cause people probably think no right off. Well, shit, seventy five. Yeah, people probably think no right off the bat. But I wonder. I just wonder, Ghost. I just wonder. Cause you just don't know what it is. You know it ain't a lack of him putting in the work. Dude, work hard as hell. You know he do. It's just crazy. You never know what's stopping him or what's causing it. But it is what it is, man. But uh, yeah, man. Connor Ben too, man. They saying he's a, uh, let me just run through this because we're going to get up out of here. We over the three hour mark. I ain't mean to stay this, this long. And this is counter Ben too, y'all. Pre U bank and post U bank. And this ain't, this ain't, this allegedly is not a Photoshop. This allegedly is not. So make it at what you will, man. Make it out what you will. Bad. About a cut, too. Right? Right? Yeah, he big, right? He's solid. Caleb Plant is a solid dude, but that's Connor Ben right there, the egg eater right there. That's the egg eater. This is something that the egg eater said. I can't comment on anything to do with you, Cat, other than say that I'm in touch with them. Someone at the BBBOC. Or you can obviously wanted to create a headline, unlike the con case where it kept where it was kept quiet for 14 months. But this is nothing new. I remain free to fight outside the UK. I hate when people bring up other people's situations in their mess. Like, just deal with yours, bro. We don't care nothing about what you're talking about with con, bro. Thanks. There's no news being charged as the start of a process by which an athlete has to defend themselves. I have not been sanctioned by it. Anyone I'm not banned from boxing, I remain free to fight in events that are sanctioned by the BBBOC. 
don't even have a BBBOC license. Then he's saying another day, another attempt to create a headline with his name he involved in a confidential procedure and he has respected my confidentiality obligations. Yet each day brings a new leak and a misrepresentation of what's actually happening. Whatever, buddy. What they saying, you know, Connor Ben has now been officially charged by UCAT for alleged use of prohibited substance following his positive violent drug test last year. He is facing a potential ban from boxing as a result. So this dude is facing a ban. He could cry me a river or cry the boxing world a river. Don't nobody care. Nobody trying to hear that garbage. Um, every time a dude, you never hear dudes admit to it, even when they get caught, they don't admit to it. So, you know what I'm saying? Following the reports in the media and comments made by the professional boxer, Mr. Connor Ben, on Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. And in the exceptional circumstances, UK anti doping, UCAD confirms that Mr. Ben was notified, provisionally suspended by UCAD on the 15th of March, 2023, in accordance with the UK anti doping rules. Whilst provisionally suspended, Mr. Ben is prohibited from participating in any capacity or assisting another athlete in any capacity or a competition, event or activity that is organized, covenant, authorized or recognized by the British Board of Control or any other World Anti-Doping Code compliant sport. UCAD can also confirm that on the 3rd of April, the charge Mr. Ben with an Article 2.2 violation for the alleged use of a prohibited substance, clomiphene. The charge against Mr. Ben is now pending and will now follow the results, management process in accordance with, what did I say, UK anti-doping rules. So, in other words, use a cheating motor sucker. Use a cheating motor sucker. It's a cheating motor sucker, and that's <laughs> that's pretty mid, that's pretty mid cheat. It's pretty much it. K Rod was good with it. That's pretty much it. Goes, you know, Boo Boo and Maul. They talk, they talk over the phone for like an hour. That'd be a good fight always if they fought, bro. Word up. That would always I hope the fight gets made. That's one of the fights I always want to watch too. She moved to 68 already. Right. Facts, he should teach and stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Maul Charlo. Stop playing with it. I forgot to set this in here. I forgot I had this in the damn thing. It's frozen. No, Charlo, stop playing with it. But, man, salute to everybody in the building, man. Much love and appreciation. It's fight week. Man, it's been another dope build, man. I think I hit everything, man. Again, uh, Calvin Ford, just to wrap up, he did say they really working on <laughs> that winner takes all kind of deal. But I think that's just good promo because I don't think Ryan and his team or nobody – you know, on his side of things will even allow him to put his whole entire purse on the line. Like, that just would be foolish. Like, it ain't got nothing to be being scared. It's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Reason to fight. So, because these dudes size each other up. Right. Fate, man. Hit us with the conclusion, my bro. And David Morrell went that Benavidez smoke immediately. He said, after he get this fight out the way, he's not looking past this dude. But if he's to be successful, he want that David Benavidez smoke immediately immediately you know what i'm saying no excuses no more no nothing he said let's fight i'm really hard to take my right you know they, they pick it brian norman senior was doing all the talking too it wasn't his pops i mean it wasn't brian norman jr it was his pops he said he picking Ryan. He said Tank don't got the um the style to beat Ryan. My salute to the fam. Y'all smash that like button on the way out. And y'all stay tuned to so have a nice build tomorrow. I think I'm thinking gonna reach out and I'm gonna um, make sure everything good and I'll set it up ahead of time. I'm gonna do that too.
Salute, teach, appreciate you. What'd you say? Oh, salute to my bro. Always coming through with the conclusion. Much love to everybody too, man. Hit that like button on the way. Our conclusion, Tank and Calvin done playing with them. <laughs> well, done playing, they want to punish Ryan Wright. Morrell wants Smoot. Connor raging again because he got no eggs and EJ better. Talk to him, bro. Appreciate you, Faith. Good build, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Will. As always, I said, Mar, Mar, Mar. <laughs> I got you, way Old school. Appreciate you, man. Much love to everybody in the building. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Thursday, man. And y'all stay y'all stay tuned, man. Um, um, I got a nice little build planned for y'all tomorrow. So I probably, y'all see the notification because um, I'm going to reach out to her, make sure everything good. And I'm going to set it up in advance. So y'all stay tuned and we're going to keep building, y'all. I'm saying he mentioned T.O. because he's relevant. Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot, man. But we'll hit that on another one. T.O. saying uh, how to beat Tank. He said, just don't engage and let Tank come to you. He said that's the same thing he told Roley. And look how good Roley was doing. Roley was doing good from one to five until he got caught. So he said, that's the way you beat Tank. Just don't engage and let him come to you, which is dumb. You go ahead and let Tank just come to you and see how you get knocked out. Everybody swear they got their remedy, but they they ain't fighting them. Ple peace, David. Appreciate you, bro. Much love, man. William, old school. Fate, my bro. Tim, tomorrow, Le'Veon Bell fighting. Right. Peace, big text, man. Much love and appreciation to everybody in the building, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Thursday. We right back at it Friday. Tomorrow, we got a nice bill for y'all. Y'all stay tuned for that. And Saturday is the fights, man. Saturday is the fights, man. So with that, man, we're going to get up out of here, y'all. Peace to the fans.